all right hello everyone and peace of the Lord to all of you and we pray that the Lord the Messiah he will help us in our mission to tell the truth please invite your friends and let us do the good work for today uh, <clears throat> as you see the title is Islam is not what Muslims they say in fact I never saw any Muslim uh, who knows or he is telling the truth about Islam there's two kind of Muslims there's a Muslim who do not know and he tell you his opinion which is like something he grabbed from his uh, back back and like <clears throat> like somebody trying to present them something he don't he himself do not know he belonged to supposedly by name but as many Christians too who do not know even what what uh, what Christianity is about uh, and there is the other kind of Muslims and that is the one uh, who knows what Islam is about but yet he lie in order to protect Islam and this is the majority of those the majority of those who work in the business of defending Islam they are doing that on purpose which means those who claim themselves like speaker corners etc they always never answer anything correctly in purpose to deceive you um, I saw somebody posting a video about how to slaughter a sheep and how to slaughter a sheep you know you say to her to Allahu Akbar and the sheep relax but the fact this video is edited and there is many videos teaching you how to slaughter a sheep and this is one of them is teaching you how to make the sheep relax so the sheep will not uh, uh, go and panic the deception is amazing like you see sometimes the Muslim they say uh, react of a Catholic about this and that and they put a picture of a guy and suppose he's a Catholic and like they focus always in the Catholic because according to Muslims Catholic is the biggest enemies to Islam so if they say if they if they got somebody uh, they say he's a Catholic and he is reacting to the Quran that's mean that's it I mean that's it is the Catholic reacting like this that's it because every Muslim in his mind the second you say Catholic it's mean this is the biggest enemy to Allah the Catholic is not even they don't they hate the Catholic more than the Jews you know uh, <clears throat> but all of this is to serve propaganda to make Muslims themselves first believe that even the Catholic look how they react to the Quran I mean look how you know if you search right now in YouTube you will see how many tons of videos of them uh, what about how the Arab react to the Quran Arab like me <laughs> You know, you play a video and you bring somebody and supposedly he is a Catholic and you say, look how he act to the Quran, like, wow, amazing, wow. Yeah, you don't even even know what he, what, 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 the, what the word is there saying. What about you bring the Quran for me so we can love together? And then I will say, wow, too. Wow, how stupid. Wow, how funny. How, how dummy. Wow, how crazy. How, how, wow, how filthy. Wow, how violence. What about that? All right? So you can say all the wow you want, all right? But it doesn't work. Uh, I'm going to open my Skype. You know, there is some people they are just calling just to uh, you know to to disturb our program. So if you are a Muslim, you would like to you would like me to talk to you. Uh, you have to confirm to me first that you are really a Muslim and you are not just a kid uh, playing games. <clears throat> Uh, all right. Hey, some people they are calling me Pastor uh, CP. I am not a priest, I am not a pastor, I am no one. My friend, don't give me such a title. I'm just viewing the messages in Skype. My Skype is open. Um. <clears throat> All right. You know, those who send me messages, I apologize. I cannot answer you because it's too many. Right? It's impossible to answer everybody. You know, 
Waganda, we always have debate with Muslims on street or radio station. Or okay, yeah. And obviously, we are having people listening from around the world, from Africa, from Indonesia, from Australia, from you know. Uh, Okay. Somebody asking why the black stone looked like a vagina? Well, because this is supposed to present the god of fertility, which is normally present, you know, like if you go if you go to India, the Hindus they have a vagina and they have a penis. And they have a specific name for it. <clears throat> Somebody is saying that there is a guy who is making video on YouTube and he claimed that I blocked him and I am scared. My friend, they can say whatever they want. I am scared to the point my Skype is open to everybody. And even if I somebody I block him, he can make a new name and call me still. That's in, that's a false excuse. Uh, Can I call you with a question about the fly? I'm not sure what does that mean. Let us see. All right. Look like we are done with the questions. So, if there is any Muslim would like to call us, and I will show you today that Islam is not what Muslims says. It's an open challenge to any Muslim who's listening. To prove to us that Islam is what Muslim says, as you see in the screen, the Quran is the book of Islam. Contain, contain what? Uh, let me show you in the screen. Sorry, you didn't see the screen. All right, the Quran is the book of Islam. Contains scientific knowledge that could not have been known fourteen hundred years ago. It is range from basic, etc., uh, etc., etc. Et now. All of those statements are lie, and this is just an example of how much fabrication the Muslims they come with in order to deceive you and to make you believe Islam is religion and have something truthful. Yes, Abdul. Yes, Abdul. I do it. I'm good. Thank God. How about you? I'm good. I'm good. Do you see the name of that our topic? Topic. Yeah, do you see the name of our video today? No, I don't see it. Well, Sorry. the title is Islam is not what Muslims say. What do you think? What I what do you think? Let's let's hear you. What do you think? What Islam is? Well, do you remember when your sheikh your sheikh called me and he said to us and you heard him that uh, some people they say Islam uh, is violence, etc. He said Islam is against slaughtering or killing an innocent human being. Did he say that? Can you say that again? What? Isn't it your Sheikh and the one you asked him to call me Sheikh Abdul Wadud? He said live to us in the debate with me that as an example, people they say lies that Islam is uh, promoting killing of innocent people. In fact, Islam is against killing innocent people. Was he, he lying or he was telling the truth? Islam is promoting innocent people. Huh? He didn't say that Islam is. Islam is trying to kill innocent people. No, no, he didn't say that. No, he didn't say that. He said the opposite. He said Islam against killing innocent people. So true, yeah. Okay, is that true or it's a lie? It's the truth. So it's why true. why you're a scholar when I showed you showed him the reference, he he you know he he changed the topic immediately. Okay, what was the topic? That the, we just mentioned that Islam killing innocent people. Okay. Hmm. So why you Muslims you say Islam is against killing innocent people when Islam is made to kill innocent people? Okay, M mention what did what, 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 when did Islam when did Okay, let me ask you if uh, if somebody insult the prophet is it okay to kill the person who insult the prophet? If he is a Muslim, hmm? according to Allah, yeah. Okay. So so, so, so that that okay, so guys look, listen to this. 
if he is a Muslim we kill him so now he is not innocent no more why of course if first he has to denounce Islam then he can do whatever he wants what do you mean okay no 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 one no one can force him what what do you mean as, as Islam, like our Hafid did, Islam is no force for anyone to accept. Okay, first, what do you first, mean? What do you mean? Not to accept? Here we go. The guy, he is a Muslim and he is okay. insulting the Prophet. Obviously, he do not believe in Muhammad to be a Prophet. So, why what you want to kill him? That's it. He's a kafir. That's it. So, there's no one, there's no way to kill him now. What? There's no one, there, there's no way now to kill him. Why you but are lying? He, Why you are lying? Isn't it your prophet? He is Why you he's are, a Muslim, uh, he cursed, he's cursing, he's cursing the Prophet, my friend. Anyone insult the prophet? Should he be killed or not? I'm, I'm telling you. We want to listen to it or no? I'm asking you. If, we, if somebody if insult the prophet, he should be killed or no? And he's trying to, he's trying to curse, the, curse the prophet. Doesn't matter. Let's say I say Muhammad is a false man. Muhammad is a false man. Yes. Okay. Should be killed or not? According to the Islamic State law, yeah. Hmm. Huh? According to the Sharia law, yes. Okay. Why? You, you just said told me that according to Islam is not right to kill an innocent person. So, but if somebody he said something, he's not innocent anymore. Huh? He's not innocent anymore. He is not innocent. Okay. So no. in Islam, if you speak your mind, if you speak your belief, you will be killed. You speak your belief. I didn't say he speak, spoke his belief. If he if he's saying that he's a Muslim, first of all, right? Mm -hmm. A person who is a Muslim, he believes that whatever the Prophet or whatever whatever he says, he believes in it. You get mm. it? Mm, okay. Okay. So, uh, uh, you're a prophet. He said, whoever changes religion, kill him. Correct? Whoever changes religion, it's not, it's not about at, at that time in the Quran. I don't know which words are you're mentioning right now. You're going to the words of Quran. It look like you do not know what I'm talking about. My, my friend, why you keep jumping from topic to topic? Listen, you, you said to me already, you said to me, if somebody insult the prophet, we kill him. And you said that this is because he's a Muslim, which is a lie. Okay. Go ahead. Which is a lie. Is it okay to kill a woman because she insulted the prophet? Is it okay what? To kill a woman because she insulted the prophet. You are talking about nowadays laws or you're talking about the Sharia law? I'm talking about your prophet law. There's nothing is called Sharia law. All, all the law of Islam is made by Muhammad. Is, is that it? We, you know, you'll see inshallah one day. This whole world. Did you say? Did you say? Inshallah, your sheikh. He said to me, Inshallah, he will answer me. Inshallah, and yet never answer. So now, are you going to answer me or not? If a woman she insulted the prophet, should we kill her or not? If she if she claims to be a Muslim, what if she is not a Muslim? Okay. She's not a no, no way. There is no way that no way. So are you saying the one who will kill a woman she is not a Muslim? She insulted the prophet. He is a criminal. Of course. Of yeah. course. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Go what ahead. if I show you that your prophet he did agree that killing a woman she insulted him is great thing to do. Is what what thing to do? Great thing to do. He approved it. You just said he's okay. a criminal. Everybody heard you. Everybody heard you. Yeah. You just said. Let me find the hadith. Don't, hey, don't try to put words in my don't, mouth. Don't. No, you just said he's a criminal. Everybody heard you. You are the one who said he's a criminal. Did you say he's a criminal? Yes or no? Did you say he's a okay. criminal or not? Listen. No, I don't want to listen. No, why don't change your topic? You see, a second ago you said it. Now you want. Now you want to swallow the word you just said. Did you say that the one who do a woman kill a woman for insulting the prophet for sure is a criminal? And you told me for sure. If she is saying that she's a Muslim. Yes. If she is saying she's not a Muslim, then no. Well, this woman, she is not a Muslim. Okay. And she never was a Muslim. She is just a slave okay. of women. Here we go. This is the hate in the front of you. Okay, read it. Let me find you the hadith. There we go. Read it. You're bringing in front just so you, you should you should uh, bring it up for yourself and read read it read it out loud so everyone can hear you. You read it. I read it. Yeah, it's your prophet words. YouTube. 
read, read, so we can know where you are, where you are you now, so I can move the text with you. Wait right now. Huh? So I'm, just wait. I'm getting for you. I'm getting on the live. Hmm. So you're putting this hadith. Okay, which where did where, where are you getting this hadith from first? From my pocket. From your pocket. Mm hmm. You bring up the whole hadith because uh, it's you're just showing some parts of that. Well, read so we can move with you. I will scroll down as no, as I uh, you know. Would you just read? Start reading. Okay, yes. Because it's long, we cannot show it all of it in in one square. We have to scroll down. So you have to start reading. Go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Okay, I'm gonna go with you now. I, I don't see comments on here. I don't know how to remove the comments. There's comments coming on the screen. Okay, there was a go 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 up ahead. Go a little bit above because you're. I think you're staying. There was a blind man during the time of. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Read. You can you can I see the top of it? Who read read. This? Well, uh, you, you will see. No problem. We will give you all the reference. No problem. Read. Read loud, read loud, please. He had two sons. She is to slander and defame the ruling on one's defaming the prophet. Okay. Whom he had two sons. We had, he had two sons. She used to slander and defame the messenger of Allah a great deal. And he would rebuke her. She would not pay heed. And he would forbid her to, to do that. But ignored him okay ignore them after that read 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 loud read loud why why you are uh, shy ignore him. We ignore i read it until i ignored him now go go down the blind man said one night i mentioned about Salim, and she slandered him i could not bear so i went and got a dagger <clears throat> okay and he would her one night, one night I mentioned brother of them that I slandered him and I could not bear and so I went and got a dagger which I trust trust into her stomach cleaned upon it and killed her in the morning she was found slain mention of the mention was made to the prophet of them okay go down read hello read read oh, I'm reading it yeah go ahead I, I, I read a mention of that was to meet to the Prophet. Also, okay, go down. Read. Why you are not reading? Are you ashamed? Are you ashamed or what? I'm reading. I'm reading. Okay, it. reading. Let's just, just enjoy this. What do you mean, enjoy this? We are enjoying the the the, the merciful Prophet and the the wisdom of Allah, and the okay. lies the lies you just told us that a Muslim man only a Muslim woman or a man only can be killed if they insulted the Prophet. None, not Muslims. Okay, go. Hmm. The thing is, you you had something else. Okay, now she slandered him. I could not be okay. I, I read the go down now, and he go down hmm. so I can read whatever you're trying to say. If you could scroll down, so I, on my side, it's not scrolling down, I think, on the screen, hmm. it's just on the same. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, it's not scrolling down on my side. You're well, oh, the, the whole hadith now is showing. Refresh your page, maybe. Okay, sweet. Okay. Then gather people so that I, I do about Allah and I'm right that he should obey me, and he did what he did. To stand up, the blind man started in trouble and said, I am the one who killed her. She was my um, one that she she was kind and gentle towards me. And I had to sound like pearls from her, but she used to slander and defame you a great deal. I forbade her, but she did not stop. I rebuked her, but she did not be. Finally, I mentioned your name and slandered you. So I went and I went and I got a dagger and trust her and cleaned. Okay, the messenger of Allah. Okay, read, go down. Mm, this is the, the end. That's it. It says, I bear witness that her blood is a principle. Right? 
Okay, okay. the messenger of Allah SWT, okay, I bear witness that her her blood is permissible. Okay. okay. So now that you that now that you you are saying that the Prophet killed her. Did the Prophet kill her? Well, the Prophet he approved her killing just because she insulted him. The man it's not, it's not, uh, and look 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 here how many crimes Muhammad he did and he, even he broke the Islamic law. Shouldn't you have witnesses so, that this is so what you happened? Are saying, you are saying that the Prophet killed her. Well, I told you that the man he killed her and your prophet approved it. You told that was, me that was her husband. Whatever he did, that's so what if her husband? So what? So are you saying to me in Islam? No, first of all, this is not her husband. This is his slave, and she is the mother of a, a kid you have from her. This is not a wife, she is a slave. Same time, she? she is a slave, okay. she is not a wife. You know, maybe okay. maybe you do not know how to learn to Arabic. Uh, uh, so this is a slave, he owned her, and she he have kids from her. She insulted okay. the prophet, she keep insulting the prophet, and he killed her. And the prophet he agreed that her blood is for free. Why? Permissible, of course. That was that was her slave. He killed her. That's it. Killed her. Ah, so he you, so you lie to us. You say in Islam, Muslim, you say to you, you, you Muslim, you, you say to us in Islam, we are people of justice. The prophet was a merciful for mankind. Why the prophet don't? don't, don't why the prophet? Don't okay, hold on, hold on, on hold on, hold on. Okay, so if you I hmm. can mention so many things about Christianity that you know all you people who, who are following Christianity will throw up right now. Okay, really, like what? Don't just try to <laughs> like like Jesus like Jesus he forgive like Jesus Jesus listen Jesus he forgive Jesus he forgive those who crucified him in the cross stop talking like a machine you are you are in a panic mood now you Jesus he forgive those who they are crucifying him crucifying him literally in the cross your prophet is a proud about killing a little woman who is a poor slave and she have babies do you see how he killed her the babies were showered was showered by her blood the man he put a dagger inside her stomach and he killed her and her son was holding her legs and the, and, and the blood of the mother was showering the baby and you're a prophet saying there's no problem no there's no problem in that i don't see any problem. well let me tell you how many problem we have here first of all your prophet is hypocrite why Shouldn't you have witnesses for what happened? How Muhammad now he can guarantee how how Muhammad can guarantee that there's no murder in this case? How we know that even she's insulting the prophet? There's no witnesses. What if I kill my wife right now and I say my wife she insulted the prophet? Okay. Hmm? What kind you of a pro other, what kind of a pro what kind of a prophet he is? I mean, even a stupid judge and any stupid judge in the world, in order to find what happened, he have to bring witnesses. How in the world now we will know? That this is really what happened. We have the, the uh, one is dead nowadays, and one is alive. Don't, don't compare a prophet to nowadays, whatever judges, judges are. Okay? Well, you're a prophet, prophet is, my friend. Your prophet is an your what, what do you mean? Don't compare the prophet. You're a prophet. Okay. You're a prophet. He said, I know nothing of my I know nothing. Don't you know that? Okay. So yeah. are you are you claiming that you're a prophet? He knew the unseen. Are you saying that to me? Are you saying to me that your prophet is Allah? I'm, I'm not seeing that. So I'm how he knew what happened in the bedroom between this man and this woman? Listen, you, first you, you got to read the whole story of where we made you read the whole happened. story. Here we go. This is the whole story. I, I made you read the whole story. Stop lying. I made you read the whole story. The women, she did nothing okay. except insulting. And the prophet, and you, you agreed that, yes, if you insult the prophet, we kill you. This is how merciful, filthy the cult of Islam. We got this one. But now, how Muhammad he was sure that this is even what she did? What if the man he have a fight with her and he killed her? How do you know that he he had a fight and he had killed her? How, how do, you do you know that he did not? How Muhammad knows? Is he, is he Allah? Is he is how Muhammad he knew? Is he God? How he knew? You tell me. It's, it's not about God. It's don't don't try to. Your God is. You, I know your God is a man, so you're trying to compare. God with uh, Muhammad. Your you know, God is a man to too. Your God Muhammad. is a man, my friend. Your God is a man. My God, God is not a man. My God, my God, my God, come to us as a man, but he is not a man. But your God is a man, and we can prove it easy. Is your God have a foot? Your God have a foot. Your God has five fingers. Your God have 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 a penis. Your God have a, have an ass. Your God have eyes. Your God is a is a perfect man, and I can show you the reference from your prophet. Don't show the references. The first first of all, you got to fix your beliefs about Islam. Because the thing is. I, I read I read the, your book some of it. You said oh, I had a teacher and he called me pigs and monkeys. We Christians and I started reading it like you're, you're, you're you started your book like a baby first, you know. Mm, so is that is that a lie that your Quran saying that the pigs are made of the Jews? 
is it is it a lie that your Muslims you make a is it a lie that your Muslims you say that Jews are pigs? Is it a lie that your Muslims and now you say Christians and, and Jews are pigs? Now go go back to that topic. We we will go to the monkey story later. Okay, let, let me let me ask you. Let me ask you. Is monkeys are Muslims? You you want to listen first or no? No no. I'm asking you. As long as you went to the mission to the pigs and the monkey, let's see who is the kid. His monkeys are Muslims. You want to listen to the yes, I'm listening. I'm listening. Is monkeys are Muslims? You are the one who jumped to talk about this. You are the same as your 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 scholar who ran away from me. You are exactly the same copy. You you mentioned the pigs and the monkeys. Are you going to tell me? I want an answer from you. Is pigs and monkeys are Muslims? Yes or no? You you wanna. Well, you're trying to switch topics now. I you're, you're no, you are the one who mentioned the story of the pigs and the monkeys. You are the one who switched the topic. You forgot a second ago. It's not me who mentioned the pigs and the monkeys. It is you. No, no. I said I read your book. I, I said to that's you good. That you so now answer as long as you mentioned the pigs and the monkeys. According to Islam, is it true that pigs and monkeys are Muslims? Yes or no? Either you say yes or you say no. <laughs> First, you 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 asked the, you, you said the Jews are pigs. Now you first made that lie, okay? Because you're you're trying to put uh, words in people's mouths. First, you gotta try to have a debate in a way so people can answer your question. Okay, no hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on. Are you accusing? Are you accusing the Quran to be a book of lies? Isn't it your Quran? Allah, He says that Allah, He made the He made the Jews pigs and monkeys. Huh? First, listen to the first answer, and then go ahead. Whatever is your question, are then go ahead and try to have a debate. If you're, you're screaming and I'm screaming, you are changing the, the topic. Here we go. The Quran says that in chapter 2, verse number 65, it says that Allah He said to them, Be pigs, be monkeys. And you know, wh why you are lying, okay, my friend? Reason? What was the reason behind it? It doesn't matter. So, why you are saying it's funny what you said to, in your book that the, 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 the teacher says to you that Jews and, and, and they are pigs? This is what your Quran is saying. Am I lying? Listen. What kind? Uh, what kind of God? What uh, kind of God? Uh, okay, let me. Let, let, you, you see, you see, you're ashamed now. You make, you were making fun of my book because I said that, that my teacher was saying, "Am I lying?" No. Here we go. Your Quran saying it clearly that Allah He cursed the Jews and He made them pigs and monkeys. So those they are Jews, but yet they are pigs and monkeys, and the Jews are Muslims. You you wanna. You want to answer like first I answer that you answer you ask question then ask do you want to answer or not I'm asking you is the Jews is the pigs uh, uh, and and the and the monkeys are they Muslims you <laughs> either you, you say yes or you say no why well, you don't say we'll, yes we'll, or no okay we'll you can ask me the same question I say no according to you I'm asking you is pigs and Jew and and and, and monkeys are they Muslims either you say yes or you say no huh your question doesn't even make any sense. Do no problem, you, my friend. It doesn't make sense, but for you, you are the smart man. Answer me. Let us say a child is asking you this question: Is is pigs and monkeys Muslims? What do you say to him? First, you gotta go back to the story of. This is not the question. We will go back to any story. Is the pig? Is the pigs and is the pigs and the monkeys are Muslims? Either you say yes or you say no. Why you don't want to say? You see, you run away from answering simple question. So why you don't say? Okay, I. Uh, I insist, I insist, you have to tell everybody, we have 500 people, 600 people watching. They want to know okay. if the pigs and the monkeys are Muslims in Islam or not. You, you want to you wanna, you wanna first start the question, first what happened? Because you're trying to put words in people. Mm -hmm. trying to, I am know, not putting words. I'm asking you to put the words there. Here we go. I'm asking you, know, you what is, is, pigs, is pigs and monkeys are Muslims, yes or no? First, listen, I'm telling you that ask a question in a way that you, everyone understands what you're trying to say. My friend, the question is very simple. According to Islam, is pigs and monkeys are Muslims? Yes or no? It's not a question. <laughs> you see how coward they are? I told you Islam is not what Muslims say. Now he is in the corner. He don't want to say. He is the one who jumped to speak about pigs and monkeys, and now he regret. You are the one who mentioned pigs and monkeys. You are the one who mentioned them. Why you don't want to finish it? Okay, pigs and monkeys are they Muslims or not? They're worse than the pigs. They're worse than the animals. The people who don't follow. This is not the question. This I'm not asking you what is the worth of the animals. I'm asking you: Is pigs and monkeys are Muslims? Yes or no? Are Muslims? Yes. Nowadays, no. Not nowadays. Nowadays, what they left Islam? <laughs> uh, let us repeat the question: Is pigs and monkeys are Muslims? Yes or no? 
those were those were the Christians of that time. Yeah. This is another Christians. question. Don't tell me at that time. Is pigs and, and and monkeys are they Muslims? Yes or no? No. No. Let us get you busted. Let me get you busted first, because mm. <laughs> you're trying to you're, you're trying to force enforce questions which you don't have any. Read this hadith. Any, read this hadith with me. Why why the monkey is here? This is Sahih Bukhari. You cannot tell me this is a weak hadith. Why in Sahih Bukhari it says that a monkey who committed sexual intercourse, illegal sexual intercourse, the Sharia law court of the monkey is stoned her to death. <laughs> You, you, you're trying to now. This is not the hadith from Muhammad. Sallam. It doesn't matter. This is Sahih Bukhari. If it is it Sahih or not, is it Sahih or not? Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, so if I show you from Muhammad, are you going to jump and open the camera and you would dance for me? If I show you that Muhammad, he if I show you that Muhammad, okay, let me ask you, let me ask you. You're trying, you're trying to guide the people, you're trying to misguide them. You, you see, you have no answer, you keep running away. What about rats? Are rats Muslims? Is, 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 okay, so answer me is rats Muslims? Is, is, is rats, is rats, are the, are the rats Muslims? Yes or no? Of that time. Yes. At that time, okay. guys, at that no. time, the rats was Muslims. At that time, did you, did you hear it? Did you hear what this guy he said? At that time, the rats was Muslims. At that time, explain that to us. What, what happened? They became upper state. The rats start watching YouTube and uh, Christian Prince and the left Islam. What do you mean at that time? What do you mean at that time, the rats was Muslims? What do you mean? The, the rats after that, they started reading Christian Prince book and the left Islam. What happened? Tell us. We're listening. What are you trying to say first don't your, tell your me questions it doesn't even make any sense my friend you said you're at that time i want to know what do you mean you you just said at that time the rats was muslims i'm listening what what do you mean what do you mean what, what are trying what was your question first? you tell me you you are the one who said that the rat at that the rats at that time they were muslims okay we get that but what happened they left islam after that how you know what do you mean what do you mean explain to us what are you trying to say first my friend, why you are scared? You see, when the Muslim he starts saying, "What are you trying to say? What are you trying to say?" That means he's, he's in a panic mood. I am asking you. You just said to us that at that time, at that time, at that time, the rats was Muslims. Okay, explain to us what happened. What happened? Okay, listen. So Sabbath, it was it was the it was the Sharia law for that time. Okay, for the for the Jews. Okay, of that time, they were Muslims because they used to follow the command of Allah. Okay. When they were told to not catch fishes on the day of, on the Saturdays, okay, mm. it was just you know just to see how obedient they are. Mm. They used to, they used to go and catch fishes on Saturday. They, they, for some time they they used to make holes a day before so the fishes can go to the other side and catch them. I'm not asking about this. I'm asking you now about the rats. Is the rats or Muslims? Yes or no? No. You you just said to me a second ago at that time. Yes. Why you are a liar? You're, you're trying, you are a liar because you, your questions first you're asking first guys didn't he say it did he i asked the same question many times and now and now you swallow it back as usual you i said to you is the rat muslims yes or no you said yes but at that time yes at that time everybody heard you i said the pigs at that time I didn't no say the rats i'm asking you about the rats I, now I don't, I don't even know about your question of friends okay what about the rats are they muslims yes or no what are you trying to First, what 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 what, your, what are you? Uh, what, what, I'm asking. I'm 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 I'm. I'm, 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 I'm is the rats about? Muslims? Yes or no? First, put yeah, your your knowledge in front of everyone. What mm. are you trying to explain? Then I'll answer your question. This is what happened. He is afraid to say yes or no because he does not know what I'm going to say next. You see, this is the game. You know, you know, a Muslim he wanna a Muslim he's playing cards. A Muslim he's playing cards. Show me your cards first because he's terrified. If he say yes, what will happen? If he say no, what will happen? So now he will not it's say not yes. He will not happen. say no. I'm not stupid. I'm not that stupid. I'll just answer you. Answer your questions. Well, uh, no, answer me, base. No, ask the people in front of the screen. What, and you, why you don't so answer? I'm, 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 I, you, you can so ask me the same question. You can ask me the same question. You can ask me the same question. Is the rats Christians? I say no. I'm asking you the same question. Is the rat Muslims? Yes or no? no? I'm not going to answer your question. I'm not, I'm why not? not? That why not? Like you. Ah, are you saying to me that the one who believe that rats are Muslims are stupid? I'm, ah, I didn't say that. 
try to stop putting words in my mouth. So do you believe that? Okay, let us let us let us rephrase the question. Do you believe that the one who says riots are Muslims is stupid? Yes or no? Now you went. See, you you, you are just so jahil. You gotta go back. So you will not that. answer. Okay, let us change the question. Do you think if somebody he says Muslims are rat, a rat are Muslims, is he smart or a Muslim, or is, or a stupid? What, what are you trying to? First, you are scared to answer. You are terrified to answer. You are terrified to answer because whatever you say is going to be used against you. I'm not terrified. So, so give us the answer. You, you, everybody. Okay, you know what? Let us go back to the pigs. You said at that time pigs were Muslims. Did you say that? I said at that time those people who did not follow the order of Allah, mm. they, Allah turned them into pigs and monkeys. What is the proof of this story? What is the proof of the story? The Quran is the proof of the story. Okay, let me ask you. So they broke the Sabbath. Allah made them pigs and monkeys. Is that correct? Yeah, Allah turned them into. Okay, them into so according to your religion, your God, if somebody rape a woman, He will not make him a pig. But if somebody break the Sabbath, we will make him a pig. If somebody rape okay. a child, He will okay. not. He will you, not. You he will, hold, hold on. You, according to your again. according to your cult, if somebody if somebody rape a child, uh, like you're a prophet, He will not turn into a pig. But if somebody broke the Sabbath, he will go and be a, a pig. What kind of wisdom is that? What kind of wisdom you have? The first you're trying to mix that at that time when it was given to, that was a, that was the Sharia of Sabbath. Okay, that was a test for the Jews. So why time. you're a prophet? Don't follow the Sharia of Sabbath. If this is the okay. Sharia of Sabbath, Sabbath it, it, it was not enforced anyway anymore. What do you mean? What do you mean? So why that, why that, Allah was why Allah why Allah, give a, why Allah give why Allah give the Sabbath up? Why he give it up? As long he is willing to curse people and make them pigs and monkeys for breaking it, why he don't want the Muslims to follow the Sabbath? What happened? He changed his mind. He changed his mind. He didn't change his mind. So what happened? It was those, those people they used to live along along the uh, lake where they used to lake or river whatever you call it. Mm. They used to live close to the water where they used to catch fishes. Okay. Mm. And okay. Because they, they, it was their food source for every, every day, but on Saturdays, what will happen is the fishes they will come to the top of the uh, of that river, or you know they will jump, and it was it was a command from Allah, so they cannot catch fishes on that. that it was just a test. Okay, like so nowadays, so you are saying, so you are okay, you are saying, guys, listen to this, listen to this. Okay, so Allah, He made the fish come only in Saturday, correct? Not on Saturday. Not only there, there was fishes. The fishes they used to go down. On other days, on on Saturday, you used to come up. Yeah, because that's what I'm saying. That the, the fish disappear and they cannot fish them, right? So, and Allah, He brought the fish in the in, in Saturday, and the fishes swim in the top of the water with their bikini and say, ah, 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 we are here. You cannot fish us, correct? <laughs> Is that the story? It's not. Uh, 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 it's not. It's not like this. So what? Well, so what they do? What they do? It's not. Uh, 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 what? What they do? Well, this what this what this is what your this is what your prophet said, and this is what the Quran says. Why 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 are you are ashamed of it? The Quran says I'm that the fish. Okay, so okay, here we go. The Quran in front of us it says the story. You know, as as you see, that their fish come to them openly. Do you want me to show you the interpretation? Okay, go. Okay, what interpretation you like me to show you? What is your favorite? What is my favorite? Hmm. Show Muhammad Ali. Who is that Muhammad Ali? Muhammad Ali Klai? <laughs> Who is Muhammad Ali? I never heard. I never heard of Muhammad Ali. Who is this guy, Muhammad Ali? <laughs> is that a Mickey Mouse story? I'm really suddenly there's a guy, his name is Muhammad Ali. <laughs> you Muslims are very cute, very cute, very cute. I want to grow some of you in my yard, but they don't allow me. So are you going to tell me why Allah He allow? You said to me that this is a test, right? This is a test from Allah. What kind of test is this, this test? He make them hungry. There's no food to eat. And yet, because now they, they have to feed their children, they, they, they have to break the Sabbath. Allah is playing games with them. They made them not to have fish. They are fishermen. So they made them not to see any fish all the week long. And then when the fish come, it come only in Saturday. And you agree that Allah, he made it happen this way. Even now it is, right? Go, go, to, the, go to the river or ocean, right? Mm -hmm. You'll see... Fishes, they they are inside the sea. You and the fishers sometimes they dive in, sometimes they put, you know, their net to try to catch fishes, right? Isn't it? 
Are you are you are, are you are you are you one day test for them? Abdul Abdul, listen, the story in the front of us it says that the fish okay. the fish come to them in the day of their Sabbath, floating at the surface, visible On the top, at yeah. the surface. Okay, yeah. la, 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 we are here. Okay. Now, if okay. you are a, a person who have a family and the fish disappear all the week except Saturday. Are you going to fish on Saturday? Why Allah is playing games? The Sabbath is not meant to play games. The Sabbath is Allah, supposedly if he is God, he will let you go and get your food, get your uh, a good deed for your family, feed them, do whatever you need to do. And then Sabbath, you stop working. That's what Sabbath is about. What, you, what your God is saying, saying that he is, a, he is not a trustworthy person. He is a person who is abusing those Jews playing games with them and this is not a test the test if they obey or not the test is if you give them five or six days in the week to find food and then they break that is a test but you made them angry and they cannot find food except in the day where they have they are a human they need to eat they need to eat so mm. you are saying that they're all those other days other days they couldn't catch fish. Yes, this one says he will go. This is the interpretation in front of you that the fish disappear in the whole week and come to them only in Saturday. And this is what the the the, 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 the first saying. It doesn't mean it disappeared. It will go down to the. Deep, deep. That's it. They cannot fish it. They cannot find the fish. Who care how they go? Maybe Allah he put them in the pocket. But this is not a question. Allah he made the fish disappear. It's, the fish is not there the way it is usually. So he made the fish go and the fish come to them in Saturday. Just one day. You are mentioning one day. It's Saturday. One day, the Saturday it come to them. The whole week disappear. So you you are saying that the fishermen they could not find the fishes all other days. No, it's not me who's saying. It's in the front of you. <laughs> it was just it was just a test for them. What test? What they, test? What kind of test? Your God, He made the Sabbath the so He can play games with people or people. Let's see. Okay, Sabbath, my friend. Uh, let, let me let me show you the stupidity of your God. If you are hungry, are you allowed to eat what is forbidden? Let me let, let me let me ask let me ask you let me ask you you as a Muslim uh, if you eat a pig is it halal or haram? Quran from the Quran is haram for us. What if I show you it's halal? <laughs> it's halal when a person is about to die. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. Did you hear it? So why Allah he cursed the Jews? The Jews they need to eat the whole week. The fish disappear. So your God is a hypocrite. They're this is a contradiction. Dying. If they were dying, they would catch it. No, they're you see, dead. here we go. The fish disappear. Dying. The fish disappear the whole week. Only in Saturday no, they come they to they them. Die. So your God they allow they you as a Muslim to eat pork if you if you are in a, in a need. But the Jews they they cannot do fishing if they are in a need. What kind of hypocrisy that hypocrisy is? Both are breaking the command of God. You cannot eat pork. Here you cannot do fishing in Saturday, but in the case of the Jews, if you are in need and you fish in Saturday, Allah He cursed them and He made them pigs and monkeys. But uh, the thing is, listen. First, as a Muslim, me myself, right? Mm. Even if I'm dying, me that's my that's my fate. Okay. Mm. I, I'm not I'm not asking about it. I'm not talking about it, any other Muslims. Mm. Whatever they're trying to. Do. Even if I'm dying, I'm, 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 and I see a pig, I see. I see alcohol right next to me. I see pig right next to me. I will die. I will take the debt instead of that. Look, let me ask you do, you: do you have a wife? Yes, I have a wife. Yes. Do she put lips a stick? Sorry, what? Do your wife she put lips a sticks? I'm not. No. I'm not insulting. No, your wife she never did. No. She never put makeup. No. Even for you. No. What about your mother? No. We're. we're we're such a family that they, they, they we don't use those stuff. Well, I don't believe you. Seriously, uh, seriously, I don't believe you. You don't believe me? Okay, I don't believe you. Listen. Okay, don't so judge. so let me, you, let me let me let me ask you. Do you, do you have any judge. any one of your family? Do you have any one of your family had a surgery before? Sorry, what? Do you have any one of your family had had a surgery before? A surgery before? Yeah. Uh, Yes, my mom did. Yes, your mom. Do you know how they tie up the cut? Okay. Do you know how they tie it up? They tie it using the leaf of pigs. Yeah. Do you know that? Yeah, they have a tree. Okay. How how dare you now to say my mom is a, is a good mom? You said I will die and I will not eat pork. I will die. I said I will die. I'm not asking okay. about my mom. Okay. So the pigs they help your mom to survive. The pigs they help your mom to survive. What's wrong with the pigs? 
the, if not the, pigs, if not if right if now. not the pigs, your mother she will be dead. God forbid. I'm not saying anything wrong about her. I'm saying if not the pigs, now your mom she will be bleeding. Okay. So sh you shouldn't you appreciate the pigs? What's wrong with your God and the pig? Why Allah hate the pigs? Why Allah? Why Allah? What is the what is the problem between? Listen. What is the problem? Those people who eat pig, right? Look mm. at them first. People who eat pig, maybe you ate it too, okay? Mm. I don't know what about them? What about them? Tell me about them. What's wrong with them? Okay. What's wrong with them? Mm. So I'm just I'm not talking about from my my deen side. My, on my religion side, it says don't eat it. That's it. Nothing okay. Confused. What's wrong with those who eat pigs? Are you more honorable than them? No, I'm not saying I'm honorable. Mm. I'm not saying that. No, you Stop you are the one who said to me, look at them. No, I'm just saying that. Look at the other side of people who eat pigs. Because what 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 about that. it? What's wrong? I mean, okay, you eat pigs. What will happen? Why Allah? Why Allah consider the pigs enemy? Okay, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. According to your according to your God, according to your God, Muhammad, that when Isa come back, he will kill the pig. Muhammad is not our God, Allah. Okay, no problem. Your prophet Allah, he said that when the Messiah come. My, my prophet is not Allah. Okay, yeah, your God Muhammad, he said that when when Isa he come, he will kill the pig. Yes or no? Don't yes, say God. yes or no? Is it true that your you your Muhammad he said that when Isa come, he will kill the pig? He will kill the pig. Okay, yes. Why? He'll kill it. That's that's the end of it. Why? Why? I mean, what the problem? Why Allah? He need to find this dangerous pig. What is wrong with this pig? Why Isa is coming all the way from the heaven just to kill a pig? I mean, what the problem? What's the problem? Yeah. So, my knowledge and your knowledge compared to the knowledge of the prophet is not. It's not. It's nothing. Yeah, I agree. Your prophet, he said, whoever come first, the baby will resemble him. I mean, this is an amazing knowledge. He think that if a woman have orgasm first, the baby will be a female. If the male have oh, orgasm first, the baby will be a male. So, don't tell me about your prophet knowledge, my friend. I want. I want you to tell me. What's wrong between what is the problem? What is the problem between your God and this 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 pig? Why Allah will send the Isa to kill this pig? So you will send it. So he will send it to kill it. Why? 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 What the why? problem? When, when, you go, when you die, ask him. So I so you are you saying to me in the judgment day, your Isa, the Muslim Isa, he will come and he have two guns in his side, and pig he will have two guns in his side, no, and they will turn either their back to each other, and we hear a cowboy music, and then they shoot at each other. And then pig he die. Is that the scenario? You're you're just trying to put some some words in your mouth on yourself because you're. I am not saying. I you know this is what the hadith is saying. The hadith is saying that that the the Isa the Muslim he will come and he will kill the pig. How that will happen? I mean, what is it? What what is the what is the business of Isa with Mister Pig? I mean, what's the problem? Pig is just a little creature. Why Allah? He is God, right? He's Almighty, supposed to be for you. What is the problem between Allah and pig? Did they have a problem before? Did they have a fight over a female? What happened? Did the pig eat the food of Allah? Did he do something wrong to Allah? What the pig did? I want to know why Allah he so much against the pig to the point he want to kill him in the judgment day. What about killing the what about killing the Zaraf? What about killing the mule? If you really want to know about it, right? Uh -huh. Like you're you are like you know so thirsty for this knowledge that why did Allah wanted to the, the pig to not, not to be eaten by the people, right? This is not the question. Why he want to kill the pig? Why uh, Isa? Why Isa is coming? Why Isa is coming in a special mission to kill the pig? He's not coming for a special mission to the kill. No, the this is what the hadith is saying. He will do That's kill the pig. He know mission. the mission is very it's simple. Let me count. Let me count for you his mission. He will he will destroy the cross. He will kill the pig and he will kill the dajjal. Three he, three things he will do. Three things, okay. Hmm. What is next? And then, according to you, he will die. No, he's no, he's not gonna die that, that, that fast. Oh, not fast. Uh, he will say seven years, right? <laughs> why he want to kill the why, that, why, okay. why? Why Islam has no answers? I mean, what, how are you are you why? saying to me because your God is silly? You're, you're, why your you're God? To, why your God consider Mr. Pig? You're, to, you're challenging God and. We Muslims, we I'm not a challenging God. It's your God is challenging a pig. It's your God is challenging a pig. What kind of God he challenged a pig? I mean, how silly your God is. He didn't challenge a pig. He didn't challenge a pig. Yes, he you did. Are, you know, he God. is making the pig he his enemy. Needed, you know, when, when you say, I'm going needed. to send, I'm going to send the Messiah to kill the pig, that's it. That's mean the, the, uh, uh, the pig versus Allah. 
that's not his mission first of all his so why okay tell us what the problem with the pig what what is the problem with what is the problem with this pig what is my friend why why islam in this ability when they hear the stupidity of their god why you cannot tell me then if this is a smart what is a smart about it i think the it's a stupid the is, prove me wrong the is to, call, to call a guy a stupid that means you yourself the, you then you have to explain the then then you have to explain what is a smart about it i call it stupid because you are not explaining explain to us please why allah want to kill this pig explain to you yeah i told you if you have if you are so eager to learn this right that you want to know that why why did he want to kill the pig why why is the pig is not eaten by the muslims you know you're you're so you know you're so interested about this right what you what you got to do is yeah what you got to do about this is that uh you, you gotta you know at night time wake up and pray to pray to god that why god why uh, so, if you I, so okay here we go you are a person who pray to allah every day hold on hold this. on you see your answer is the same as your sheikh who called me and he was shaky what does this have to do with my question? You are the one who pray to Allah every day. Did he give you the answer? Why I want to kill the pig? Why you are asking me to do that? You are the Muslim who pray every day. He, whatever, whatever, whatever my God told me not to do, I'm not doing it. And I, and I, and there's benefits from me. This is not the question. This is not the question. I'm asking you. I'm not asking you to do what not to do. I'm asking you why Allah want to kill the pig. <laughs> you, I told you, if you really want to know about this, right, you should pray, pray to Jesus. Oh, Jesus, let tell me about this. Okay, we're going to pray to Jesus. Hold on, know? shut up, shut up, please. Jesus, please tell me. Okay, okay. Well, I think Jesus told me uh, in my heart that this is stupid God, false God. There's no way God would do that. <laughs> do you have a response to Jesus? So, for, first of all, now if you really want to know about it right your mm. your own self like medically i'm i'm not even medically if you go right if, search go on google what what is the you know uh, <laughs> what google what google you, I, when i ask you about allah you say to me search about google this is no, this, is, a, this is the judgment day uh, my friend nobody is eating it no more pray. the muslims are not eating the pig why you want to kill the pig leave the pig alone you muslims are not eating <laughs> pigs no more so why he want to kill him explain to us I'm not killing it. I'm not killing not it. Not you, not you. You're, Allah, you're, Allah, Allah. Your God is coming. You're, Allah, you're the one that you call God. He's coming. Listen, listen. Jesus. Allah versus Allah versus big. This is what we have now. In the end of the time, we have but a war. Is that Allah versus big. Yes, it's yes. Allah versus Allah. Allah versus the non-believers. No, because uh, the, uh, yes. are you saying to me that the the pig is non-believer? I'm saying you are non-believer. Allah versus non-believer. Why Allah want to kill the pig? This is the question. Why you are going not going to answer? What's happening? <laughs> you have a stupid question. Why is my friend? You know, by saying this is a stupid question, question, you admit you admit that this is a stupid story. I don't admit that it's a stupid story. No, you, you, you are trying to make because it because you just you're insulted your God. You're you are the one who it. said this is a stupid you're question. It. It's a question about what your God said. Shame on you to say that. I am I am asking shame, you why you God. Shame on you first. Why because you, the thing is why you, you God. You know what? If you really want to know about it, I told you to pray to pray to God and so you will know. Okay, I prayed to God have... and he said this is a stupid story. I prayed to my God, he's told me this is a stupid story. Look at this poor pig. I mean, you what the problem with you're, you're how, making this how story you lose them? You say to me that you're God... yourself, you are dumb in your head, so you don't uh, know how to Abdul, practice your Abdul, brain. Abdul, Abdul, how you say to me your God is almighty, yet he wanna challenge a pig. <laughs> he, who said he challenged a pig? He challenged the, the believers not to eat it. No, he wanna kill him in the judgment day. Why? It's not a judgment day. Yes, in the judgment day, before the judgment day, Isa will come and he will kill the he will kill the pig. That's what it say the story. You want to show the reference? Okay. Come on. He's gonna, so, he's gonna come. He's gonna kill it. So what? What happened? Why? Why he wanna kill the pig? And which pig is that? There's only but one pig in the world. So, so what happened? Let me ask you: Is that the king of the pigs? Is that the king? Is like he's a Viking and something? What? What kind of? What? What is the pig? Uh, uh, the Messiah will kill him. Do you know? Do you know where he live? Do you know? <laughs> do you know? Do you know his first name? Whose first name? The pig. The pig, which because it says a pig. It's one pig. A Messiah will come and will kill that pig, specific pig, not all the pigs. So who is that pig? Okay. Do you know? What is special about him? What is special about him? I hmm. don't know, but you should. I told you you should do your research. You didn't do your homework. I am yet. doing my research. Here we go. I'm asking you. I just told the people here that Islam is not what Muslims say. Muslims they have no idea what Islam is about. They are they, they, they are people who like hey, pray to Allah, pray to Allah. So here you know we go. It, like, I ask, Allah, ask you a question. I ask you a question about your religion or what you say to me. Search Google. I'm asking you. 
Why Allah want to kill this poor pig? What happened? So he's that said he's gonna kill us. He created it, he's gonna kill it. So no 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 you see he, no this is not what it says. It says the Messiah will come and will kill the pig, the pig. Okay. So a person who, who creates something and he, he destroys it. Would this you is not the question. Okay, no. so he, why he what, then why why he did not say he will kill all the animals? He did not say all the animals, he says the pig. Yeah, so he created he's gonna kill it. So why 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 the pig? What's the problem with the pig? So he's gonna kill it. So why why? Okay, okay, no problem. Every, everything in the uh, before judgment day, everything will the supposed to will go and die, right? Okay, no problem. But why he wanna kill that pig? What's the problem? The, the thing you your 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 question the thing is your your brain is stuck on the pig because i think you have too much pig today or something mm. you know your, your brain is stuck on the pig right now mm. the thing is i told you if someone creates something and he wants to destroy it finish it can mm. you ask him okay so are you saying to me that the messiah is the one who created the pig and he have the right to kill I didn't the pig say the messiah who created the pig well, you are the one that. who said you are the one who said to me the one who killed it he can you, the one who created he have the right to create but the one who will create is the messiah so I'm asking you, why the well, Messiah? The one who will kill it, he's the Messiah. He's the Prophet of Allah. Okay, why? Allah will order why not? Kill it. Okay, why so, not Muhammad? Why not Muhammad? He will kill the pig. Why the Messiah? <laughs> Again, your 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 questions are twisting now. Now, why? Why? So why? So the our Prophet peace be upon him, he's passed away. Jesus peace be, Jesus peace peace be upon him. He's gonna come. He's not passed away. According to you, he's he's not he's he's not alive. According to me, he's alive. According to us, he's not alive. That's a lie. Every Christian believes Jesus is alive. That's a that's a so lie how? from you. That's a lie from you, and you will not answer, right? Okay, let me let me okay. let me make it simple for you. Do you okay, think that this? Do you think that this pig he did something wrong to Allah? I'm not saying he did. Uh, I, I I don't want to put anything. Okay, don't hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you think this pig is a Jew? Again, see, you're 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 racist. You're really racist, bro. I'm racist. The Quran says that the Jews are pigs. He didn't say Jews were pigs. Allah turned them into pigs because they didn't follow the. That's it. They are, they are pigs already, according to your prophet. No, they're not pigs already, guys. So he admitted that the one who says the Jews are pigs, he's a racist. You said that. No, I am saying because this is what your religion. I'm saying to you, I'm asking you a question. My religion didn't say. My religion said the people who didn't follow the command of Allah, Allah turned them into pigs. Okay, let me ask you: Why Allah is not turning any Muslim who don't turn, follow follow the command of Allah into pigs and donkeys and monkeys? Don't, don't you see? Don't you see the fights everywhere? So this is not the question. This is not the question. On? Why Allah only He turned the Jews into pigs and monkeys? Why He don't turn Muslims into pigs and monkeys? Don't you see the Muslims nowadays? What condition are they in? What condition? This is not my question. I don't care about condition. They are horrible. I know. I understand. But this is not the question. Okay. The question is, okay. why Allah is hypocrite? If somebody broke the command of Allah, he made them pigs and monkeys. Only if it's a Jew. If it's a Muslim, he break any command. Nothing happened to him. Those were... Those... Those... those because okay, you, you, you are trying to... Let me ask you. Abdullah. Let me ask you. Abdullah. Abdullah. Right? Abdullah. Okay. Listen. Listen. If so, it, people I, who followed the book of their okay, time, right? I want, I want if an answer. I want an honest answer from you. Have you ever heard? Okay, I'll, I'll give you an honest answer if mm. you really want to listen to it. Mm. Okay, so as look, as, as you know that you know Torah when it was revealed, the people who followed Moses at his time, right, and mm. followed the command of God at that time, right. Mm. Th those were the believers of that time. They followed the book. They followed the commands, and they did what you know, whatever God told them, they had to do it. You mm. know. And at that time, if they didn't do it, so you know, uh, the punishment of God will come on top of them. You get it? So, what does that mean? I mean, I'm asking you now why okay. Allah is not doing the same thing if He is fair with those who break the command of Allah with the Muslims, with the Christians, with everybody. You are talking about nowadays. I'm talking. I'm talking about those days now. Does it you, matter? I'm, does I'm, it matter why Allah? Why Allah at that time too? At that time, there's a Christians did not obey the command too. Why Allah? He only transformed the Jews. <laughs> Into pigs and monkeys, because they didn't follow the command of Allah at okay. that time. There's many Muslims these days, and many Christians are not following the command of God. So why Allah is okay. not making them pigs and monkeys? So th th that was the that was the 
Qanun, right? That was the uh, gov that was the government, the Sharia of that time. Okay. What Sharia? So what just, Sharia at that time? My just, friend, my friend, my friend. Here we go. The the Islamic countries time. in Islamic countries in Saudi Arabia, it's a Sharia law there, and there's many people breaking the it's command of Allah. Law there. Don't say that. It's not a Sharia law over there. Why? They are until now. They are uh, they are stoning women to death. They are until now. They cutting heads. It's they cut hands. That, 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 there, there's a show. Off, okay, okay. So, don't, so, don't so what Sharia law have to do with my friend? Here we go. Muslims have a Sharia. Muslims have a Sharia. Yet Allah is the one who did the Sharia in this case. Allah, He made the pigs monkeys is not the muslims who made the monkeys so i'm asking you this is uh, this is additional proof that islam is false why allah only he decide to make the jews pigs and monkeys why he don't make it to the christians anyway, well, go, he, I am, that I was am his making, command is i am time, making fun i am now making fun this I am, time i am making different. fun of the belief so the, of islam why each, allah not, each prophet came they came with the sharia abdul okay abdul i am making fun well, of the teaching of islam why allah don't make me a pig you you want you, you want to be a pig well, uh, uh, for me, I, I, I'm asking you why your God don't uh, make me a pig. It's not a choice. No, if, if you really want to tell me, was it a choice? Was it a choice? Was it a choice for the Jews? Was it a choice for the Jews? Your we'll question is very funny. You so you can turn, why so Allah? Why you Allah don't make me a pig? According to you, if you broke the command of Allah, he, Allah, He will make the Jews pigs and monkeys. Here we go. I say Muhammad no, is a false I'm man. You, Allah is a false God. Very, if you really like the face of the pig, right? Okay, you that, that, okay. Like did, you, did you mention the face? Did you mention the face? Let me ask you, did Allah threat the Christians in the time of Muhammad that if they don't convert to Islam, Allah will erase their faces? Now, again, you 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 are jumping from questions to questions. We are not jumping. We are here the same the same topic about not, transform, the same topic transforming right the look. Now. You you said that. Now listen, is you your God want, Allah? You is a, Allah is your God something? Allah is a false God? Or yes or no? If Allah He said to Christian Prince, I will give you from now until tomorrow. If you don't believe in Islam, I will erase the details of your face. And Allah in the morning could not do anything for me. Is that a proof that Allah is false? If Allah did it, then then what's gonna what's gonna happen? If Allah did it. That's you're gonna show your face to you're gonna show your face to all the Christians. Yeah, I will show my face. Here we go. I challenge your God Allah to make me tomorrow a cat. What do you think? Can he make me a cat? He will, of course. I believe that. Meow. Meow. I just feel yeah. it. I just feel it, guys. Oh, meow. Me I look 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 look. look. Well, well, I, I have so no, look, you're trying to make a belief if fun of a belief of uh, any any other person. You you said that you're not racist, you know. You always try to mention this, my right? My friend, did you say you're racist? Did you say racist? Isn't it, isn't it, isn't it against Islam? Against anyone, listen, right? listen I, it's very funny that you talk about racism when your prophet, he believed that Muslims are a race and they are the best of mankind. Is that true? No, again, again, you, with your... You see, with, you with run your away. Question. Each time I get you busted, you change, you change, you change. When I'm, you, I'm not changing. When you, you mention something, I stuck with it. Okay, really either you okay, pig. either you prove I am racist, or I get you busted that you are racist and your God is racist. I never saw a cult as much as Islam as it is racist. What are you talking about? Okay. Even your show, prophet, show you me, think? Show you, me the racist that you see did, in Islam. Did, the your, that did you your, your prophet? Did your prophet say that uh, the most the most hateful person to Allah is a black man? Yes or no? No. What if I show it to you? Go bring it up, guys. Did he say bring it up? As a two minutes from now, he will say I did not say. Okay, if I show you I'll that, say, what you, say, if I show up, you that, what you will do? You're, if claim, I, you're claiming okay, that, that. Hold on. If I show you, if I show person. you that, okay. If I show you that, what you will do? You you have to show all the hadith connected to that one hadith. I will show you the just, whole hadith, no problem. If I show you that Allah He says that, what you will do? Listen, you gotta uh, first. You have to go, go to the screen. Go. Go bring your bring your uh, proof hmm. that you're saying that God said that that he hates a black person the most so bring it up okay but if he, if this is a true what you would do I cannot find it right now maybe next time let's go to back to our topic okay maybe next time remind me next time I will find it for you is that all right okay it's all good yeah is that okay it's okay it's all good yeah. okay hold on Jibril in, inspire me and I got the hadith Inspiring your shaitan is inspiring you. Hmm. I was, you know, like you, you, you don't, you don't ask for it so much because you know it's there, right? Here we go. The hate in front of you. The most person Allah he hate is a person who is first, a black person. First, go go to the topic of the hadith on top. Uh, what is the topic of this hadith? The chapter. Read. What is the chapter of the hadith? The chapter is uh, uh, killing of yeah. Al Khawarij. 
and this is Khawarij. Okay, now watch. Now okay. you gotta explain what Khawarij is. There's no problem. Okay. Why, why the man who hate most is a black person? Okay, now listen what Khawarij is. First, explain what Khawarij is. The Khawarij so are he... the Khawarij are the best of Muslims. Muhammad he claimed that they are not good, but the fact, <laughs> but the fact they are better than Muhammad. Khawarij, Khawarij are those people who try to who try to be who pretend to be Muslims, mm. but they are not Muslims. Okay. Mm. What Muhammad he, he pretend to be a Muslim, but he's not a Muslim. Muhammad he says a Muslim he can have four that's wives. That's your Muhammad he said he can have four wives, but he can have as much as he want. Muhammad he says you cannot have sex with your wives when they have their period, but he have sex with his wife when they have period. Muhammad he says that you cannot piss facing the Kaaba, but he was used to piss and poop facing the Kaaba. Everything okay. Muhammad he say he act differently. He is a fake Muslim. A Muslim really? is somebody he say and he do what he say. Your prophet. The, the thing now is, don't change the topic. Isn't, why? Isn't that so why? Funny that, you, know, you see, you are changing the topic now. Why? Even, even in his why time. Why the most? Time, right? Why the most? Him. Why the most person Allah he hate is a black man? Explain to us. You're, you're. Listen, it's a Khawarij. You first. You, I the don't topic care this, Khawarij this, or, or Khawarij. why he is a black man. What Khawarij? They have white people, but why the most person between them who Allah hate is a black man? Go, go up to the hadith. We'll, we'll read the hadith together. Read so, it. Let's be. You're, you're trying to. You're trying to put words in people. You know, people minds and try to go go up to the hadith. We'll read it together. Read it from the top. It's not from the top though. Oh, okay, go ahead. Why is this? Uh, I don't know why your screen is. It just says the messenger of Allah. Okay, now I got it. Ubaida, the freed slave or messenger of Allah, whatever. Harayra the Khawarij, okay. Set out as as what? As with Ali, Abu Talib, Allah pleased with them. They said that there is no command but that of Allah. Upon this, Ali said, the statement is true, but intentionally applied to support a wrong cause. The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam described their their characteristics as I found these. Okay. Found. This all is a commentary, is not even in the hadith. The hadith is here. The hadith is here. Read the hadith. Okay. He said that okay. the most the, the most hatred among the creation okay. of Allah is oh. one black man from among so them. So this the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam described it. As I found those questions, and then they state the state of the truth with their tongue. They state the truth with their tongue, but it does not go beyond their bodies. Okay, so this is the this is the quality of a Khawarij. Uh, Khawarij is a person who says that he's a Muslim, but he's not a Muslim. Okay, whenever he speaks, okay, so what? So he what, speaks what, the, what? It doesn't even go. Into his mind. Just says, what says, is the relationship between the his color? Why? Why he is mentioning? This is not the question. I don't among, care. I don't among care who them is the he. Khawarij. I don't care. Back? Listen, listen. I don't care who is he. I'm asking you. What is the relationship between how evil he is and he being a black? Why the most person Allah he, he hate is a black person, not a white man? Why the most evil person in this go, earth, go, according to Islam, is a black man? Go down. We'll read the whole hadith first. Hmm. Go down. Th this is the hadith. It says one black man among them. One black man. Yes, among there's them. only one. This is the most person Allah he hate. Like he he, he okay, forgot. He didn't, he he didn't say all all black men. Okay, first you, you my my friend. This is the question. Why he is a black man? Of. You want to read the hadith, or you are trying? You are, you are, you are read trying it. To Here we go. Take your time. Right. Read it. He said that the most right. person Allah he hate among them, among the creation of Allah, among all mankind. How many yeah, billion we have? Black man Listen, how many? How many billion we among have? Them. So that means there's other people too. There's white. There's brown. There's yellow. There's all all types of people. Yeah, among but them still Allah. Is one black. But still Allah, he hate the most the black one, right? Yeah, okay, so you're why? gonna read it. Why Khawarij? It why? says Khawarij. First, explain Khawarij. Why? Okay, Khawarij is first. Why? Why? Why he hate it? That's it. He Allah hates him. Why? So no, no. Why he why? hate the black man? He What's the problem with this person. black? Why this person? Why he don't say okay? I hate. I hate a lay leader as an example. Why he is mentioned that he's a black man? He mentioned that the, amongst all those people of Khawarij, those people who who will be Khawarij, right? Mm. The people who will pretend to be Muslims, but they are not be Muslims. Mm. Are okay. you a Muslim or you pretend Most to be a Muslim? Will be one black man. Are you a Muslim okay. or you? There will be black. There will be brown. Okay. Are you a Muslim or you pretend to be a Muslim? Huh? Are you a Muslim or you pretend to be a Muslim? 
You're a, the thing is you're, you have, you have twisted you have a twisted brain, bro. I'm asking you. you. Are you a Muslim or you pretend to be a Muslim? So what do you think? I think you pretend. I pretend. Okay. Yes. When the last time you you practice stoning to death? Stoning to death. Hmm. When, when when did I last? When the last death? time you practice stoning to death? So, what what are you what are you trying to say over here? Are you are you willing to marry four wives? Am I willing? Yes. No. Why not? I don't want because to. you live in America. You are scared. Huh? You are a fake Muslim. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Hmm. So yeah. why? I I can marry, but I don't want I don't want to. What? It's my choice. It's my choice. Oh, it's your choice. Okay, but okay. Uh, uh, if 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 you if you meet a woman in America and she you like her, are you going to practice your right as a Muslim or you will not? Uh, what are you, what is your question again? Say that uh, again. Uh, uh, your question. My question. If you meet, like let's say you go to the mall to the, tomorrow. And you have now you have one wife tomorrow you met three additional wife you like them all and you decide to buy them one package like you know take them all are you going to do that or because you live in America you don't dare even if I live in America right hmm. or not that doesn't depend on my choice my choice is that I want to marry only one wife and I will live with one wife so who are who's who's that other, other person to ask me about what my choices are okay let yeah. me ask you how Allah he created the black people did he create them from the from the left shoulder of Adam uh, Christian last time even I answered this question for you the thing is hmm. you, you're you're missing you're missing the parts of those hadiths okay what I'm missing so what, what I'm the missing? hadith actually you know it, it comes if you really go uh, go back to the Quran too right hmm. the hadith that you're mentioning hmm. is that God created people because your your problem is mostly with uh, I think with destiny. When okay, you were talking to my you, according, too, to, according to Islam, why black people are black? They're black. They Allah, Allah Allah made them like this. Okay, but why he made them so Allah he made them black. Why he made them black? Is that a curse? They are not first no, it's not a curse. Is, it, is not. That a, that a curse. it is not if I was black, right? If I was black, I would hmm. love to be a black person. Really? Yeah, I would love to be a black okay, person. Okay, okay. Yeah. So why Allah He says, as long you look like you are an, you are a good man, like not like your prophet, because your prophet He said it clearly that Allah He created the black people to go to hell. Yes or no? I think. Listen, I told you. I was talking about that hadith right now. So mm -hmm. you're 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 mixing you're mixing up that hadith with with your own with your own ideas of you know comparing black and uh, you know. What what, okay. what 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 do you mean? What 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 do you mean? I'm I'm I'm, so what, I'm really confused. What 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 do you mean? What do I mean? Okay. Yeah. What does that mean? So when when the shoulders of you know Adam and when, when they were tapped, right? Yeah. There are two type of people that came out, right? Hmm. One they looked like charcoal. That means those were the people of hell. Okay. It didn't say it was black people. And one and on the other side there was people who were full of light that means those are the people of heaven you get it so uh, Allah he created Adam and he, then he created the black people from the left shoulder and he made yeah, I didn't like say the black people I said the people who looked like charcoal because they, they they are made for they are made for to burn, be burnt in hellfire what does that mean so so there's a there's a there's a creator who creates something right mm. he puts one side of it in one in one thing and he puts side side another one mm. okay so why all the black people will go to hell he that's what he said I didn't say all, it didn't say all black people it's not, well why are you trying to <laughs> mix up black you, you're wanna, trying to you know you all those make, poor black people they'll say you, you know do you, you want to make okay you're, you're you want to make going, a challenge do you want to make a challenge it says all the black people will go to hell what are you talking about go, go ahead Okay, make what sure, if I yeah. show you that this is what it says? What you would do? You apologize? No, I'll not apologize. Why would I apologize? Because you are presenting the hadith in a really wrong way. Because no. present the hadith okay, in a way that's mentioned. No, you're accusing me to be a lying, my friend. You said to me it doesn't say that. That's mean it's I'm lying. <laughs> right? Of course you're lying. You're you're okay. trying to peep, so, you're trying so, to put okay. So now okay, so and now you know the hadith, which means one of us is lying. Do you agree? Okay, go. 
Go ahead. Okay, no, no, I'm asking you. You know the hadith, and I showed it to you before, as you said, right? So now yeah. you know that one of us is lying. Yes, of course. Okay. Oh, and who is going to be? You think me or you? We'll see. We'll, we'll see on the on the report from the Quran and the hadith boat. Hmm. Okay. Let us see. Let us find the hadith. I'm just looking for it. Yeah. I have it in English, but I want to, I mean, in Arabic, I want to show it in English so people can read with us. Okay, good. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Wait a see. Actually, I found it in English, but I don't want to uh, like just use a normal website. I want to use an Islamic website. And yep. you know the hadith already anyway. But let's show it in the front of everybody so everybody will see with us who is here lying about it. Here we go. I can bring it up. I don't see it right Hold yet on, on my side. Give me a second. Did he put it up? In a second, here we go. All right. This is the hadith, and you said not all. I say all. Let us see okay, who's yes. lying, either you oh, or me. Okay. And people will be my witness. Read the hadith for us. Okay. Now read the hadith for you. Now okay, let's wait. And these people are commenting. Comments are coming on top of this. You can you can uh, click at the box in the commentary. Yeah, will stop. Allah's messenger. So you're getting this hadith from the Lord peace of God said, Allah. Adam, when he created him, he struck his right shoulder there and made it a white offspring. If there were there were, if they were like white ants, okay. He struck his left shoulder there, emitted a black offspring as a as, as if they were charcoal, okay. So then he said, those who had been emitted from the right shoulder for the paradise are for the paradise, I don't mind. And then he said, those who had been emitted from his left shoulder, therefore for hell, and I don't mind. As I, as I said to you, that people, as I told you, that the people of the left shoulder. <laughs> as they're, I said they're, to you, they're... you said to me, you said to me, not all. You said to me, yeah, not that, all. You're, you're saying it listen, says where no. Does it it say says all black people. Show that to me. Stop lying, hypocrite. You, you said not all. Here it says all. All the one who are listen, black. Listen, first, stop. Stop putting words. First, explain. You know where? Where does it say all black people? You, it says, you're gonna show this to all it the says, people. It says. It says that the know. one from the left shoulder they go to hell. Who are they? The black and the one from the right shoulder they go to heaven. Who are they? The white. Say, that those black people from Africa, it doesn't specifically mention <laughs> that black person. Get lost. That's it. He gave me a headache, monkey. He keep jumping like a monkey. Uh, no, no, don't call me. That's it. That's it. We got you. We got you. That's it. Call me tomorrow. We have enough of you today. I mean, look how they lie. They have no shame. 
and they speak about racist I was asking him about the Jews in the Quran being called pigs and monkeys he said you are being a racist I mean do you see how they play victim they are the one who want to kill the Jews they are the one who call them pigs they are the one who call them monkeys I'm not only that by the way they call them Christians and Jews they call them pigs and monkeys and yet they say and they claim that when you ask the question you are being racist what do you want Hello? what why you lie Hello? why you lie i didn't lie you you are lying look what well, does it say here all from the left shoulder will go to hell yes or no yes it does say okay who are they okay my friend my friend explain to me who are they okay who are they those from the left shoulder please from the left shoulder they they, they look like charcoal who so that are means they, who they, are they, they are the made for people fire. okay and who is the one from the right shoulder they will go to to heaven who are they those are the people they'll they'll let up like like uh light because they are made for heaven ah so allah he made the white to go to heaven and the black to go to no, hell no, no, it doesn't say white people <laughs> don't stop, stop saying that first <laughs> Everybody, everybody is laughing at your lies, my friend. Don't, don't. A, stop lying. Come on. He says it clearly like, that the black you're trying, you're trying, are. You're who, trying to cast. Okay, listen, listen, to, listen. You know, this, this is, this Allah is talking about so, you, you, you Allah is talking about first. the creation of mankind. Your prophet, he thinks that mankind only two kind. There's a black and white. <laughs> no, didn't say that. Black and white. Where, where it says? Where, okay, where does where it say? Oh, mankind. What is the Asian here? What happened to the Asian? Where does it say mankind? He, he's talking about the creation of mankind. Allah okay. created. Okay. How Allah said, created? Allah how created Allah created Adam the offspring created, created of Adam? He struck his life this is, oh, uh, this is about shoulder, right the offspring of okay. Adam. Okay, people came out from his left shoulder. They were, they looked like they they looked like charcoal. That means that they they, they are, those are the people they they are, they are destined to go to the hellfire. A destined. Okay. Why Allah he destined the black people to go to hellfire? Black people, okay, stop so that. are you are you, you are you so that. your God Allah saying in, in this hadith, your guide Muhammad saying that based on I this, the, my, my the white people they go to heaven, the white people go to heaven, and the black people go to hell. Peace be upon him. My prophet, my prophet is Muhammad, peace be upon him. My God is Allah. Jalla Jalla you're a prophet, you're a prophet, and your God is Muhammad. There's no Allah, it's a big no, fat it's lie. It's, it's and you're a prophet, it's a big fat racist. Your prophet is disgusting. Ooh. Just leave me alone, my friend. That's it. Don't call me again today. Your prophet is disgusting. He is extremely filthy racist, and you lie to us. You said not all of them, they will go to hell. And what kind of a prophet he say, if he is a prophet, that Allah, he created all the black people from the left shoulder. What does that mean? Do you know what left shoulder mean? The left hand in Islam is the hand of sin, is the hand of shaitan. So all the black people, according to the filthy Muhammad, they are satanic. Which is absolutely false. There's bad and there's good in every color, every ethnic. There's good Asian, bad Asian. There's good black, bad black. There's good white and bad white. Since when your color decide how to go to heaven or to hell? You're a prophet, but because you are desperately trying to defend a cult which nobody can defend. Only filthy, sick-minded person, he will say such a statement. Imagine if the one who said that is Jesus. Suddenly, this is not a problem with the Muslims. Suddenly, and by the way, they keep saying to you, do you know the sermon of the Prophet, the last sermon, which is not an Sahih Hadith, not even a weak Hadith. Nobody even knows where this Hadith is coming from. It's fabricated. When they want, they say, only we accept Sahih Bukhari. Only we accept Sahih Muslim. Okay, where the last sermon coming from? Muhammad, he says, there is no difference between a you and a, et cetera, except between a black and white. This is what he said, supposedly. Fabrication. Do you see how they lie? And this is why I told you, Islam is not what Muslim says. Guys, did I prove my point? Did I prove my point to you? Is it true that Islam is not what Muslim says? 
they lie to you they fabricate but always they play the game that you are a person who don't who do not know the second they meet somebody can go like a bulldozer over their cult suddenly they change topic and jump like monkeys from place to place And when I say to you that the most people who read my books are Muslims, maybe some people some people don't believe me. Here we go. He just admitted he's he's reading my book. Did you hear it? Shabir Ali, he buy my books to learn, not to criticize. He don't dare even to criticize. Why your sheikh don't go on video and says, "Hey, Christian Prince, uh, book is full of lies." Let us see that. Huh? Let him do that. Let us love together. But because they knew everything there is true and supported by evidence. And not only that, I explain their Quran better than their scholars. And now I am translating the Quran, a very decent translation. Honest to God, honest to my Lord, the Messiah. I will never lie about one word. And this is the whole purpose of this translation. I'm sick of, of lying and lies around us. The Quran says something, the translation says something totally different. Shabir Ali, he bought my book, right? Uh, yeah, you know, I made a video about it actually, showing his name actually in in in, in Amazon. <laughs> and right away after he bought my book, he uh, called ABN TV because supposedly uh, uh, ten days after we will have, or a week after we will have a debate. And he called them and he sent an email too to confirm that he cannot do the debate because he is busy with his PhD. And since then he is busy. He have time to debate David Wood many time. He have time to debate everybody, but with the Christian Prince, no war. No, don't try, because he knew that this will end his career. The same as the teacher of this guy, the guy who he brought me his shake. Supposed to his shake, he can do better. Go watch it. It's there in the video in the video list. Shake Abdul Wadud. Insha Allah, we will answer you. And I, you know, I am not shy to say, Insha Allah, you will not answer me. This is what Insha Allah mean. Actually, I find it very funny, by the way. Each time you say to a Muslim, give me the answer, he said to you, Inshallah, we will answer you. Inshallah, when? So what are you doing here? Why you are here? Why you are calling me? Why you are even talking to me if Inshallah is something you would do tomorrow or next year or next century? So why you are here talking to me? If you are the one who is debating me and you say to me, Inshallah, we can answer you. And actually, by the way, uh, the Muslims, they, uh, they, they, get, they get upset when, uh, when you play their debate with you. Because I don't know, like when they are debating, they are not aware how horrible what they are saying. Let us see. Okay. Do you know why did the devil became the cursed one? No, no, my friend. Why Adam and Eve was taken from heaven according to Islam? So, according to Islam, why Adam and Eve they were taken out of uh, out of Jannah mm. because the was was a, a shaitan. Mm. They the was was a shaitan happened to Eve, and mm. because when he, the was was a shaitan happened to Eve, Eve told told his husband mm. Adam. Mm. Then let's go and eat from that tree. When that tree was forbidden for them to eat, when mm. they ate from that tree, what happened? Mm. They became naked and they were sent mm. towards the face of this earth mm. where they had to live. Until now, we, we are from the lineage of Adam and Eve. Mm -hmm. But and this is my friend, this is a contradiction for what your prophet said. Your prophet said that Adam he commits sin because Allah he wrote for him his destiny to commit sin. And Adam, he have no choice. Destiny, yes, that was his destiny. So okay, so how Allah? Why Allah? If this is his destiny, how Allah is going? How you just playing the shaitan that he is the one who did whisper in Adam? But the fact it was destiny written by Allah. So the whole scenario written by Allah. 
Allah he order shaitan to whisper Allah he order Adam to obey Allah he order Adam to sin and then Allah he punish Adam to sin so how we can blame shaitan for that if Allah is the one is behind this conspiracy and he is the one who did that to Adam Adam is a victim so if you know the history of shaitan when Adam was created and 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 the shaitan when Allah told him to prostrate to Adam mm. what did shaitan say well, well first of all why Allah want to say to to uh, to shaitan to protest he did not even order him to protest uh, protest can you, not, can you, no no my friend not. no no my friend in front of everybody with with my respect in a friendly way I challenge you to show me where Allah he ordered shaitan to put straight to Adam okay. if you show me that I will shave my 20 foot mustache okay go ahead wait a minute You want me to help you? We can go to chapter 2, verse number 34. Okay, brother, wait a minute. Hmm. Do you feel like calling a friend or somebody? Brother, yes. We I'm doing my I'm doing I'm going to my books and I'm looking through my books, okay? All right. <clears throat> He's going to be. I would like you, by the way, to read my books in case you like to educate yourself. You can get them from Amazon.com. Yeah, brother, I'll read your books too. Yeah, you can you can search in Amazon for Christian Prince and you can find my. Do you have, you have any questions in your book? Oh, I have answers for the questions, not only questions. I answer my the questions in my books. Yeah, sure. Go ahead and read them. Okay. You have a question. Okay, your brother. <laughs> so as you see, there's nowhere it says that Allah he ordered Shaitan to bow down. No, nowhere it says order. He did not order Shaitan to bow down. This is a mistake. Hmm? Surah what? Fifteen. I am number. Surah 15, okay, verse number 31. Yeah. Okay, but he did not say, he did not say he ordered shaitan, it says he ordered the angels. This is a mistake. So this is a mistake. In the, this is a mistake in the Quran. The Quran is making a mistake, a very, very bad mistake. Because if Allah, he ordered the angels to prostrate, why he accepting shaitan to bow down? 
so if you know at that time, Shaitan, Shaitan was one, one of the person amongst the jinns. He was he was amongst the jinn that he was accepting all the messengers and he was listening to them. No, my friend, when I say I order all the cats to say meow, why I'm expecting the dog to say meow too? He is not a cat. The Quran is so clear. It says, Allah, he ordered all the angels to prostrate. But Iblis, he did not. But Iblis is not an angel. You see, for the Christian, they believe that Shaitan is a foreign angel. You Muslim don't believe in that. You believe he's a genie, correct? So Allah, he ordered the angels. Why he is expecting Shaitan to bow down? This is not even right. If I say if all, you, if I say all, my, my, my friend was there with the angels. So what? So what? So it doesn't matter, angels, my friend. Angels, okay, let us say, let us say he was there. But if I am saying all angels bow down, why I am upset from someone he is not an angel for not bowing down? That doesn't make sense. If I say so all it, all let's, girls let's, go out, let's say today, let's say today mm -hmm. okay, you have you have two uh, two friends. Let's say two friends, right? Mm -hmm. And you both of them they're really close to you. Mm -hmm. Okay, one one is Abdul and one is Abdullah. Abdul and Abdullah, good good names. Okay. <laughs> I could not believe it when he said one is Abdul and one is Abdullah. <laughs> I said, This guy, he must be watching me for long. Abdul and Abdullah. So, why must they get upset when I call them Abdul? If your sheikh is making you Abdul and Abdullah, and his name himself is Abdul, Sheikh Abdul Wadud, Abdul Al Wadud. Unbelievable. But it gets more hilarious when he says to me, he will answer, inshallah. I don't know which uh, which minute is that. Let us see where. I want to play this part when he says, inshallah, I will answer you. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. <coughs> it says here, the breast, the verses, the verses of stoning and the breastfeeding was revealed. What do you mean there was no such a thing? It says was revealed. Do you see the verse of stoning and breastfeeding was revealed? Go ahead. The words of stone and breastfeeding and adult ten times was revealed. Okay. And the paper was Can under me, my pillow, when messenger of Allah died. Hmm. Spell upon him. We were preoccupied with his death and the time she, she came and ate it. Hmm. If you look, go, go a little bit uh, down. Okay. This is just a comment about the hadith. This is not, uh, you know. So anyway, so can you recite for me the breastfeed for adult verse, please? You said we memorize it. Is nothing is missing? Brother, there's no, there's no verses about that. That, that was, that was something that she kept about for her, for her memory. Okay. Really? What are you talking yeah. about? It says here, the breast, the verses, the verses of stoning and the breastfeeding was revealed. What do you mean there was no such a thing? It says was revealed. Do you see the verse of stoning and the breastfeeding was revealed? So what do you mean there's no such a thing? Okay, brother. You have so many questions, and we need if you if you know the Quran is not not a book that we just take it and we just read it and we just throw it there. You know, this is another we question, my friend. Quran. This is another question. This is another question. Can you recite for me? Can you recite for me the breastfeeding for adult verses? Do you see how always they try right in a in a speed of light change the topic and not to answer? You have to be very careful when you debate those people. He tried to avoid you see how many times he avoided each time we have to go back to zero you have to enforce your question otherwise you will never get an answer and look after all the enforcement still he won't answer but he, he tried to make it look like he is not running look I'm asking him where is the verses you said to me that Quran is preserved I said okay recite it for me and then he started talking you know about we need to sit together and what does that mean he just to change the topic. Maybe I will forget about my question, so we move on. It's a game, but not with me. Sorry, brother. Can you recite the verses for breastfeeding for adult ten times? 
adult ten times. Hmm. Can you recite the there's verse? No, there's no words for that, okay, brother. Well, here it says, here it says that the verses was revealed. So, are you accusing Aisha to be a liar, my friend? I'm not accusing Aisha. Is hmm. huh? okay. that she's a liar? So, what? Uh, why you are saying there's no such a thing? Aisha, she said it's a verse and it was revealed, but yet you say there's no such a thing. So, one of you is lying, either her or, or, or you. Okay, brother. Brother, uh, I'll call. I'll call you. What time you come? Come live. Hey, brother, brother. Okay, brother. I will call you. Okay, see, he changed the topic again. Okay, brother. He will answer. Okay, brother. Okay, brother. And this is a shake. This is a shake. God knows how many hundreds of people they listen to him every day. In his mosque. Okay, brother. Who is my question? What do you mean? What time you come here? Okay, brother. What brother, brother? It says here, the breast, the verses, the verses of stoning and the breastfeeding was revealed. What do you mean there was no such a thing? It says was revealed. Do you see the verse of stoning and the breastfeeding was revealed? So what do you mean there's no such a thing? Okay, brother. You have so many questions, and we need if you if you know the Quran as <laughs> not not a book that we just take it and we just read it and we just throw it there you know this is another we question my friend this is another question this is another question can you recite for me can you recite for me the breastfeeding for adult verses sorry brother can you recite the verses for breastfeeding for adult 10 time adult 10 time hmm. can you recite the there's, verse? No, there's no words for that okay brother well here it says here it says that the verses was revealed so are you accusing Aisha to be a liar my friend I'm not accusing Aisha hmm. is on her, okay. that she's a liar. So what uh, why you are saying there's no such a thing? Aisha, she said it's a verse and it was revealed, but yet you say there's no such a thing. So one of you is lying, either her or, or, or you. Okay, brother. Brother, uh, I'll, call, I'll call you. What time you come, come live? Almost uh, every, every day. day. Almost every day, my friend. Every day from what time to what time? Um, you know, sometimes uh, 3.30 in New York time, sometime before, you know. You can subscribe to my channel and you will be able to follow me. Okay, brother. I'll, I'll tell me. Now he think he's out of the hook. Okay, brother. Okay, brother. What time you come here, brother? So now he is out of the hook, right? He thinks so. Not not yet. My student to listen to, right. to tell me. You whenever will come you and I will come you always. And I apologize again if I was harsh in some words with you. I don't mean to be mm -hmm. so, to be harsh, but... Uh, I I, 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 you have questions. I know you have questions about Islam. He knew. He knew. I have a question. He knew. But the, the question, who is the one who had the answers? How oh. it was revealed. Why was uh, Prophet Muhammad a prophet? Why was Quran revealed? Why was each verse hmm. revealed? Why Why we have all everything from the from the Bible and the Torah? You now, finally, he feel that he have a relief. Finally, Christian Prince stop asking. That's it. Eesh. I will go home now. No, not yet. You have you are saying this when why we what you have so many why why you say so inshallah we'll ask we'll answer all your all your why why yes, but nobody can answer them as you see until now you did not answer anything and the last and the last one you are oh, trying not to answer it. why you don't is that why? that my, my friend before you go I, I understand you are going you, you are going straight to three you said no because so you don't know the concept of God first my friend my friend before you go just one the last question I asked you why you don't answer it. Why you are saying that Aisha, she said there is a breastfeeding revealed and you are saying there's no such a thing. Why you don't do it? See how you get him back in the hook? He thought that he is done. Christians, are you learning how to debate them? Now he relax. He think, okay, I'm going to go now. Thank you. I will come back. What time you come back? What time? So now he think he is out of it. That's it. The question is over. All right? No, 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 no. Oh, <laughs> Ah, no, 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 no. I will play with you with one finger, not two fingers. Ah, I do not need one, actually. I will use... Uh... Why? Okay. Either you apologize from Aisha, not from me, because you are accusing Aisha that when she said the breastfeeding for adult 10 times was revealed. Do you know what revealed mean? It was inspiration. Uh, either you apologize from Aisha or you say, I don't agree with Aisha. Okay, brother, let me see the Hadith again. Um, I'll, I'll try to look into into this hadith. Mm. Okay, brother. Okay, brother. And we'll, we'll try to talk again, again, and again. So you will not answer me now. You will not answer me. It. Okay, I got it. Okay, no problem. All right, my friend. Thank you very much for calling. I, I will answer you. It's not that I, I can't answer you because uh -huh. whenever I, whenever I speak, you say why.
when I answer, when I try to answer, you say why. Then I answer, they say why. Mm -hmm. It's like you keep interrupting. Like you I'm have not so interrupting. Here we go. I will keep my mouth, my mouth shut for the coming thirty minutes if you want. Do you like to answer or not? I will answer you, brother. But one day. But right now, not it's, now. it's time for Isha Salah. One day. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay, brother. Okay, my And I have to go, go right. to the masjid and pray Isha. All right. Take care, my friend. And thank you for calling. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> and then we find that the Asha Salat is already done. Mm. He, he did the Asha Salat. He was lost lying. I mean, you believe it? Uh, Asha Salat? We finished like 8 uh, eight thirty p.m. What Asha Salat? What this guy is talking about? <clears throat> so anyway the whole idea of what we do here first of all you Christians Hindus Buddhas atheists you learn you learn two things you learn answers and you learn how to ask them and at the same time you learn how to corner them they are like people who go in a fight but they cover themselves by oil so you cannot hold them They are professional liars, and this is their shake. This is their shake. This is the this is the high guy. This is the, the highest the, the highest in ethic. And for me, I notice that the highest they are in ethic, the lower they are in ethic. They claim that like when you say shake, you think like okay, somebody is decent. He grow a beard. He is a person who believe in God. He is a great you know. I mean, he is a person who do uh, things to serve God. You know he must be decent. I mean, what are you talking about? But that the fact is totally different. I never saw any one of them is like that. Actually, a decent Muslim is somebody he making a video with ISIS. That is the only decent Muslim. This is the truth. And the whole world today is the world of hypocrisy. They say to you, ISIS does not present Islam. When the fact ISIS are really the true Muslims, and the reason those ISIS they don't they don't care if you like it or not, because simply they believe they are superior. When where they are, they are terrorists, and they will hold your neck with their knife. And who cares if you like what we say or not? This is exactly what Muhammad is about, and this is why they say things as it is. But Muslims who live in the West or they're trying to spread their propaganda between Western and those who speak English or other languages, they fabricate websites like this, Quran and Miracle and Science, when the Quran is the most silly, stupid book. You just notice how we ask him a very, I mean, a very simple question. What kind of God do you want to fight a pig? Pig versus God? Nice to meet you. I know that pigs are dangerous, by the way. Very dangerous. Look at this. I mean, look what he have in his mouth. I think he is taking hashish. Is that marijuana or something? God and the pig. The Almighty God versus this pig. Who you, who you think he will win? I mean, actually. The story itself is an insult to someone you think he is God. I mean, what kind of God do you want to fight a pig? At least make him like uh, Allah will fight the Terminator, Sylvester Stallone. Uh, I mean, something. I mean, like, what is that? A pig? Uh, what about an elephant? Allah versus pig? So now the pig he is holding two guns and Allah he have two guns and they turn their back to each other and the music da -da 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 -da, you know the cowboy music and then the pig he shoot and Allah he shoot on boing 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 that the, the pigs he die Allah victorious Allah takbir and they say to you Islam is about science I'm with science. 
science fiction, science stupidity. Hmm? <clears throat> Actually, <clears throat> I agree with Allah. I mean, this pig is scary. Look at those lips. Oof. Guys, do you remember the video made by a, a doctor from Gaza? A Muslim uh, from Hamas? Who remember the video? He was explaining why <clears throat> Allah, he forbid eating swine. Anyone remember it? I made a video about it. And then the coward, he flagged my video. Uh, he said that if you if you look at the habit as an example of the pigs, you will notice that pigs are the very most filthy animals. As an example, they're the only animal he has sex with his mother is pigs. What the heck? The only animal have sex with his mother is a pig. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable! A true story. Oh, and look what you know. And I made a video for him, and people die laughing from from his video. And then the guy, the Muslim, they start flagging my videos. You see, when they say these stupid things, they don't see it how stupid until we show them. So now we don't eat pigs because if we eat a pig, we eat a Jew. And the proof that the Jew, he's trying to prove to us that the pig is a Jew. How? He has sex with his mother. <laughs> and they eat their feces. And this is the only animal who eats feces. <laughs> oh boy. Unbelievable. I want to be a Muslim. I cannot resist the temptation. Let me see if I can find the video. I will not play it for you. You guys, you look for it. Uh, I forgot what his name, Dr. What, Dr. What, I forgot. Forbid us eating swine. Let us see if we can find the video. And the funny, he's a doctor. Yeah, here we go. Guys, search for this video. I'm not going to play it for you, so they will not. You see it? Search for this video. <clears throat> Allah forbid eating pigs. Hmm? Actually, this is the original video. Here we go. Why Allah, God, forbid eating the flesh of the swine? Do you see it? This is the original video. I wish I can play it for you. You guys, you might have heart attack. Laughing. <clears throat> and this is a doctor. This guy, he is sitting in his clinic, supposedly. If, imagine if this is a doctor. A Muslim doctor. Hmm. Oh, boy. You search for this title in case you are searching. And his name, Dr. Zaid. See, this is the this is the video. As I said, I'm not going to play it. And look, he have a link underneath Quran Miracle. <laughs> Absolutely. And this is him. Extremely smart. Anyway, guys, I think we have enough for today. Don't forget, please, to download my videos. We don't keep them for long to be sure that you guys are. And today we have this uh, call from this Abdul. I think a many interesting topic we talk about, and you can make many videos of it and let the whole world see the truth about Islam. You know, the, the good thing about having a two sided conversation that's not like, you know, Christian Prince saying, here we go, you hear it from the Muslims. And Muslims are the best to expose the cult of Islam. Nobody can expose Islam better than them. Nobody. All right? <clears throat> so I want to say thank you for being here for today. 
if we can do it tomorrow I think maybe tomorrow tomorrow is Saturday so Saturday maybe it's a good idea I'm not sure Saturday or Sunday we will see I will be with you again and uh, please share this video with your friends watch it download it and take care my videos I take them down I told you many times I don't keep my videos because I don't make videos for me I'm sick of my videos I don't want to watch them I never watch a video of mine my videos is made for you you want them download them don't tell me why they are gone if you really care download it save it in YouTube or in Google Drive as simple as that here I have a mission and people are lazy and if you don't make them do things they will not do it mostly like for some of you for sure they are active they are not lazy I can't say everybody but the majority they are here just to watch and uh, okay Christian Prince here very funny that's like you know, I don't want this kind of people I want people who come here they care really for what we do Christian Prince sooner or later he will die and then the Muslim they will say that Allah killed the Christian Prince <laughs> Allah destroyed him brother brother did you hear that the Christian Prince he died brother yes brother I heard that he died by cancer brother Alhamdulillah finally he's gone brother brother I heard that a truck go over him brother a brother I heard that a pig he ate his uh, his his left ear brother true brother true story brother I saw that in the CNN brother actually and uh, I saw in the CNN they are saying brother that uh, a Christian Prince uh, one of his uh, four wives uh, uh, she uh, cut him uh, brother uh, eating pork that's why she killed him brother uh huh. <laughs> True story, brother. Uh, brother, the, uh, the, the, the story is coming from Sahir Bukhari, brother. All right. So time will come and Christian Prince will go. So downloading the videos is a treasure for your children and the children and the children and the children of your children. I'm so glad that we are in a time where we can share such a thing. You know, not long time ago, we cannot do this live broadcast. It's very costly, extremely costly if I want to do it. And not time, not long time ago, it's impossible even to meet with all people around the world. Like now we have people from Asia. Right now I'm speaking, there's people that are listening from Indonesia, from China, from Japan. I no, China, they cannot, uh, unless they are using the proxy. I was in China. I could not even open Gmail there. You believe it? You have to make it tricks to open it. Yeah, don't remind me about China. <laughs> the same day I arrived to China, I saw in the news an announcement. It says, if you see somebody, he have a beard, report him to the police. And I have a beard. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Unbelievable. What? If you see somebody have a beard, report him immediately to the police. I told the people, but I have a beard. They said no they are talking about the Chinese don't worry <laughs> oh boy I I see the police I put my hand over like you know you know and they look at you like I was recording with my camera in the street actually I have a video of me in China right you remember I might go again this year I'm invited again they will see uh, talk politics namely about Israel and use conference with Arab state in Poland. I don't know what you mean. I don't like politics, and I believe all people who work in politics they are corrupt and they are liars. They say something, they do something. You know, politics is not my business, it's a business of garbage. Uh, anyway. <clears throat> This is why we say please download my videos and share them around save them in your computer in your hard drive in Google there's many website actually there's many website and actually there's many of you they are sharing my video they are mirroring them in different website not necessarily in YouTube uh, YouTube is not really trustworthy YouTube they can take your videos anytime you know it's very easy to take videos uh, there is better website like minds that come you know minds I have an account there they give you a chance to load videos up to 15 minutes I think they used to have it I think for 13 now it's 15 maybe uh, and there is many other we websites you can load videos there for free including even Google Drive you know 
you can load videos there and uh, 16 gigabyte free and you can create a new account a new account etc let us download the videos let us share them so the truth will stay and that's why I'm trying my best actually to spend more time working my coming books so one day when I go I will leave behind a lot of information a lot of knowledge for those who they are seeking it so nobody will deceive you and nobody will deceive your children I remember the target here is the soul and the security and the economy like even if you are an atheist Islam is not a religion who is seeking just uh, you converting that's not true Islam seeking government if Islam take over a country you are doomed they will force you what to eat what not to eat what to say what not to say what to dress what you know that's it you lost your freedom you are just like this poor pig you eat you do poo poo and there's a day you might be slaughtered if you don't obey the rules of Islam you are dead if you don't wear you know we saw how in Islamic countries they are beating people just because wearing jeans imagine wearing jeans is a crime wearing jeans and this is true according to Islam this is this is forbidden because you are wearing the clothes of the kuffar you are being like them you cannot do that uh, so you know Islam is anti-freedom anti-life anti-happiness Islam bring nothing but depression did you guys did you did you hear what this guy he said Abdul when he was calling me he was telling me about how horrible the Muslims are don't he said don't you see what's happening to them so why Islam if it's if Islam is doing good there then why they are horrible why they are having a horrible life Islam could not bring good to them that's why they, they immigrate by tens of thousands every year to Europe. Why nobody want to immigrate to Islamic country? Why Muslims don't immigrate to Saudi Arabia? They are running from Islam. What are you talking about? Why they want to go to Egypt? You know, Erdogan, he claimed that he is a Muslim uh, uh, president. Uh, Erdogan just two days ago he left the banner from all porn websites I don't know if you saw it in the news okay why Erdogan he left the the ban of all porn website what does have to do with Erdogan why Erdogan now is uh, interested of letting the porn do you know why his country is dying people are so angry so he said to himself let me be the devil as usual I will leave the banner from porn Revolution is coming. He's trying to corrupt his people. He's trying to bribe them by corruption by the devil plan So he don't allow them to criticize him, but now you see I will give you freedom you can watch porn Here we go. You see I am a person who supports freedom But you cannot speak against Erdogan half of the country became in jail I don't know my friend nobody told me about anything with David Wood I, I don't I don't mind for sure but uh, I never heard anything from David Wood or anyone for sure I, I have no problem with that that's good you can ask him I I never been told about this I just heard it from you everybody is welcome you know and we appreciate and always support those who who fight uh, 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 for the truth you know uh, and everyone do it in his own way I have my own way David would have it in his way uh, Sam Shamoon he have it in his way everybody have his own way at the end of the day you know we are fruits in the table of the Lord every one of us he tried to do his best that is you know and I believe that you know we should compete all of us and you too you should compete with us we should compete in doing good you know not compete in doing bad so I appreciate anyone who do because those are better than the one who do nothing regardless how good they can do or you know let us say sometime we succeed sometime we don't it can be me sometime like I say a word maybe I should not say right but it's not the purpose the purpose is we say things for 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 a good purpose uh, sometime we fail sometime we succeed but this is not the issue the issue is that we are here to work and to serve uh, not to work for ourselves. 
and our glory um, so always when you see somebody posting videos a Christian etc you know just uh, support them subscribe doesn't matter who they are and don't follow those who divide you a Christian person who claim to be Christian he don't divide the Christians ask yourself if Jesus is here right now he will be happy to hear you fighting with your fellow Christian Anyone who believe in the Messiah, that he is his Savior, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the crucifixion of Jesus, the resurrection of Jesus, the coming back of Jesus, and there is no salvation but the Messiah, he is a Christian, my friend. He can be a Catholic, he can be a Protestant, he can be an Orthodox. There's things we don't agree about, but we agree about the most important thing, which is Jesus. He have an icon, I don't. But that will not make him not a Christian for me. I believe it's wrong. But doesn't make him a bad person, doesn't make him not a Christian. I break command too. You break command too. Let us not to be hypocrite. At least those who have a picture, they are not breaking command because they are bad, but because they love the Messiah, right? So uh, don't be the same as the Muslims. Don't be Taliban. Be be a Christ-like. He even forgive the Jews in the cross. Yet they are the one who crucify him. What about those who love him? So all those who believe in the Messiah, they pray for the Messiah, they believe there is no salvation, but by him they are your brothers and sisters in Christ. It doesn't matter what the church name. And don't follow a priest, my friend. Priests always divide us because there are many of them, they are doing business, like Muhammad. My church is better than the other church. In my, trans, in my, in my church, there's salvation, like Muhammad, you know? Don't don't fool, don't fool yourself with them. Salvation is only with the Messiah, not with the priest, not with the bishop. Come to me, knock at the door, I will open for you. That's what he said. Not don't come to a bishop, don't come to a priest. They are sinners like me and you, and maybe even more. You know, listen to them, but don't do what they do. That's what the Lord He said. Listen to them. They talk good, but do they do bad mostly? So uh, the same as the rabbi, the priest who were, were judging the Messiah. You know, they are the rabbi, they are the best of the society, supposedly, but they are the one who put judgment of death in the Messiah, and they were screaming that we want him to be killed. So, uh, uh, follow what is right. And what is right, my friend, that the Messiah don't like us to be divided. As simple as that. Ask yourself, if the Messiah right now here, and he is here, actually. He said, every two of you mention my name, I will be between them, I will be the third. So, what do you think the Messiah will say when he hear us divided? Is that a pleasure? Uh, the church, and when I say the church, I mean us. And the Bible teach that we are a universal church. Universal for all mankind. Go and teach and preach. There's no black, there's no free, there's no slave, there's no Greek, there's no Hebrew. All of us. And there's no names. All of us, we are free by him. So always when you speak to your brother in Christ, remember that he is a person who loved the Messiah as you do. If you think he's wrong, and you think you are right, that doesn't mean you have the right to throw stones at him. Correct him. But don't throw rocks and don't decide who will go to heaven, who will go to hell. This is not your business. All right? Uh, and really, I love, I love those who unite the Christian together. And always, uh, you know, I, I, for me, it's it's painful to see Christians divided. That's not good. You know, that's not that's not from Christ, obviously. You remember the Quran in chapter 5, verse 14, where Allah, he says, I will spread hate and enmity between the Christians until the judgment day. So when you do that, you are serving the devil, serving Allah. Why do you want to do that? Right? Why do you want to do that? I love every person. Actually, actually the Messiah, he said, even love your enemy. So what about loving our brothers and sisters in Christ? Always have the spirit like this guy, Abdullah, who called me. Do I hate him? I will never hate him. I feel sorry for him. Honestly, I will pray for him to be saved. I pray for him. I pray for the sheikh who spoke to me. I pray that they are going to be saved. We don't hate them. We will never hate them. And actually, all those who leave Islam, they leave Islam because we did not hate them. Because if you teach and preach hate, hate will bring hate. You see? 
when I say to him you're a stupid God I'm not hating him I'm trying to let us say like somebody he is a he's in a coma you 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 you, you hit him in his face to wake him up not to kill him right if you have a son he's taking drugs you scream at him not because you hate him you you hate the drugs so we will not and we don't accept the culture or the teaching of hate you should love everybody be good as your Lord and this is the way you can save the Muslims and bring them to Christ if you are hateful and they are believing in hate here we go now we are two hated groups so why you think you are better why you are why you think you follow the true God then if you reject Islam because Islam teaching hate and then you are a person who believe in hate so you know for me like you know I was in Europe I saw I saw a Muslim woman standing in the bus I I gave her my seat I I, I was in the garage waiting for the bus an old woman she went to check like you know I mean the schedule for the bus and then she came that her seat is gone I gave her my seat I know that I will not get the seat back maybe for the coming two hours it was raining etc but she's an old woman so it doesn't matter she is a Muslim or not she's a Muslim I gave her my seat for me I see her as my mother she is a Muslim she is a Christian who care do good my friend do good to Muslims do good to the Jews go to, do good to the Hindus go to to the to the atheists do good be good as look your your father we are not like any we are different Pray for those who curse you. Remember the words and the wisdom. And this is very wise, by the way. Hate always destroy the person who carry it. It doesn't help you. This is why you see the Muslims, they are not happy. They don't, they, they don't know what happiness means because inside them always there's anger, anger, anger. And anger build up. And this is why they are not healthy people. For me, I have no hate for anyone. Thank God I'm very healthy. I sleep happy even though I know many people wish to kill me but I have no worry I have no worry I go to places nobody goes to because I have no worry well I want to worry about what I die I die I'm a believer we will die once only anyway you know you will die sooner or later so always be consistent with the teaching of the Lord we break command sometime because we are sinners and we commit sin but we should not make sin as a lifestyle if we do it once or we do it twice we try our you know our best to fight it so I will be happy to see all the Christians who come here and I call Christians for this what the Bible call us the Bible did not call us Catholic or Protestant or Orthodox those names we didn't you know we came with them the Bible call us Christian we are Christians all of us so let us be Christian for we follow Christ and to follow Christ is to be as he taught you to be if you have a best example to follow then don't say you are a Christian if this is not his if he is not your best example if he is then do what he did in the cross he forgave the Jews in the cross forgive who the one was a crucifying him what do you want more we today if somebody step in your finger maybe you will scream at him and you will say the f word to him always remember when you do something ask yourself is that the spirit of the lord which he told you to be is that from the holy spirit is that from god be beautiful you will see the world around you beautiful life is like a mirror you are angry you see in the in the mirror an angry face you smile you see a smile smile don't be angry even if you feel that you know life is not fair for you who said that life is fair but that is not a reason to be angry from everything and then you destroy yourself the faster you live in anger and hate the faster you die health and health mean spiritual mean uh, uh, I mean everything I mean your time will go horrible don't you see like we you know they say uh, happy time goes so fast and sad time goes so slow it's true so life is like an art either you live it fast and happy 
and fast here it should be with the with the with the progress of doing something good you know not just fast time kill time fast and happy which mean you don't feel anything except happiness even when you are poor you feel the happiness you see i met poor people from around the world and amazingly happy they are i was looking at them i mean how in the world those people are happy i i went inside the house those people have nothing you should see how they welcome me and how the biggest smile in their face and how decent how beautiful they are and i was saying to myself how much a human being is a fool we have cars we have houses we have big screen tv and we don't appreciate what we have look at this family they have nothing when i say nothing i mean it nothing always learn how to appreciate appreciation is is a treasure by itself a person who have no appreciation even if you make him a king he will not be happy he want more the king he want to be a king of kings he want to be the devil so he can replace the lord to be the king of kings because he don't want the lord to be a king of king he want to be the king of kings so either you want to live and you are satisfied with your life and happy and you learn how to li to live happy uh, people they are married you know in the first uh, the few days of the marriage they are honeymoon they call it honeymoon i mean this is funny why you call it even honeymoon why because in the beginning you accept from the other partner anything after a few days if the partner he did something wrong you scream at him so now your wife she is not good for you no more two weeks ago she was beautiful and so she is lovely what happened so you need to learn you learn how to live art of living not just to live art of making people around you loving you your wife your husband your children remember life is like a mirror make people around you happy smile on their face then you will be happy too it's going to come back to you uh well i would love to visit your country my friend if i can uh and there is a very very important thing i want to mention that there is many people these days don't respect their parents which is very very disgusting my friend a person who don't respect his parents he will regret that a person who don't appreciate them he will regret that especially if your parents they are people who spend their life trying to make something out of you how in the world you say a bad word to your mother the one who carried you in her in her in her uh, womb for nine months the one who cried for you when you cry the one who spent her night and her day taking care of you how dare you not to be good to your father who used to work day and night to, 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 to take care of you? I don't know what's wrong with a human being these days. If you cannot be good to your parents, you will not be good to anyone. And I advise any man, any woman, don't marry a man he is not good to his parents. And don't marry a woman she is not good to her parents. Don't. Because if she cannot be good to her parents, she will never be good to anyone. And if a man he is not good to his father and his mother, he will not be good to anyone. If he cannot be loyal to his own mother and his father, he can be loyal to who? To you? Well, if they are if they are ba bad parents, and I agree, there's some they are bad. Still, my friend, still you respect them. Don't insult them. Insulting them, they will will not help. So if they are bad, to you stay away from them. No problem. But still love them. If they are causing you harm, then stay away from the harm. But in your heart, should not hate them. There's many people, they don't deserve to be parents, I agree. But, you know, that is not really the normal thing, right? Always, always appreciate those who care for you. 
And you know, for me, even if I have a bad parents, I don't think I will hate them. Actually, if they need my support, still I will support them because at the end of the day, they are my parents. You know, be good. We are talking about being Christians. The Lord, he taught you to be good even to strangers. What about being good to your family? And the Lord, he taught you that even when you pray, our Father out of heaven, the first thing you do, what? Forgive to us the same you forgive to others. Can't you forgive to your parents who did something wrong to you? Here we go. You got a chance to practice it. Get the blessing of the Lord that you forgive. So you can be forgiven. Right? So some, some they have a problem with their family. Their father was not good. Their mother was not good. This is true. Still forgive them. But generally speaking, parents are wonderful people. Generally speaking. So how you can be not to be good to them? And if you don't want your children to do to you, what you would do to your, your parents, don't do that. You know, if you never saw your parents, maybe for the last uh, 20 years or 10 years, or you don't care for them, your son will do the same to you. You just told them that you don't care, but he will care. If you want your son and your daughter to care for you, care for your parents so you can be the best example. All right? Uh, <clears throat> how many language I speak fluently? I, I speak the language of uh, Brosley. I used to watch Brosley. Which means I love Allah. <laughs> Which language? Anyway, <clears throat> I am not uh, uh, like, you know, I'm just sharing with you what I think. And maybe you think maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm right. I don't know. Uh, but you do what what you think is right for you at the end of the day. I'm not saying I'm smarter than you. Uh, uh, but, you know, you you take what is right and you refuse what's wrong. Where I'm from, I'm black, blonde, African-American from Japan. I am the child of the of our truthful God, my friend. All of us, we are one nation. We are one church, black, white, Asian, Indian. All of us, we are one. All of us, we cry. All of us, we have heart. All of us, we, 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 we feel. All of us, we die. All of us, we live. All of us, we have emotion. All of us, you know, we are. We have the fingerprint of one Lord. It's not important where I'm from. It's important where I'm going to. Everybody is coming from somewhere, but not everybody will go to the same place. So always put in your consideration where you will go, where you want to be, what do you want to be. That is really important. Uh, anyway. <clears throat> uh, I think we are done for today. And I, I actually, I don't want to change this picture of this uh, cute uh, pig, which Allah, he hate very much, and he want to kill him. I think this pig, he need to find a solution now. Hmm. You see, actually, the pigs are lucky. Now, there's 1.4 mil millions. They are not uh, uh, a billion. They are not eating pigs. Uh, pigs, you are happy. You know, I mean, pff, I'm sure this pig, he was saying to himself, I wish all mankind, they forbid eating me. So I can run in the field free, right? But you know, not always is lucky. All right, guys. Uh, <clears throat> I want to say thank you for being here. And enter, we'll see you, see you again, maybe tomorrow, maybe the after, we will see. Please don't forget to subscribe to this uh, uh, link here. This is more stable address to follow me. Always when I go live on air, I post there too. So subscribe. It's very easy to subscribe there. It's more stable than YouTube or better you or any. This website, they don't uh, delete people unless they are really like terrorists, maybe. They uh, they grant the freedom of speech and you can say your mind. As long as you don't break the law, you are welcome. So subscribe to this account. Join us there. And always we will stay in touch in case we lose a channel in YouTube here or there. All right? So thank you. May the Lord bless you.
and we see you soon again Christ is Lord Islam is false and see you soon bye bye